to another train simulator slash train sim world live stream we're doing a bit of a special journey today you can see our train here if someone remember all that information then i can remember it as well then you can put it back in the chat uh yeah we're sort of doing a ten thousand sub special um so we're gonna have a bit of fun we're gonna go hastings to eastbourne which you're probably wondering hang on that's like 10 miles away that'll take like 10 minutes well unfortunately uh was it uh, St. West St. Uh, Bo Peep Junction to Eastbourne isn't in the game, or Bo Peep Junction to Willingdon Junction, so we're going to go the long way today. Uh, so we're going from Hastings to London Bridge, uh, well, no, actually, hang on, Hastings to Tombridge, and then we'll switch over to the new South Eastern Network, and then we'll do Tombridge to London Bridge, and then we'll do London Bridge uh, to London Victoria on the South London Network. And then we'll then do uh, East Croydon, no, uh, London Victoria to Brighton on Train Sim World, and then Train Sim World from Brighton to Eastbourne. Um, so let's see, uh, we have got, so, you know, I want to go to Eastbourne. I want to, I want to go down. I want to, you know, spend time in Eastbourne. Don't know why, but well, that's where we're going. Uh, we've got David Offlow's Jet, Little Jack. Uh, we have got Yoshi. Uh, we have got Callum. We've got Southern Rex. Uh, we've got Steve. We've got Laser Jet. Uh, how is everybody doing? We've got Derek, cheers mate, we've got Finlay, Glitch, Para, Daniel, uh, how is everybody doing? Um, so yeah, we've got to set up the train from cold. We're starting in the class 411, uh, which is probably one of my favourite trains from trains to drive. Uh, at least detail wise, it's fantastic. Uh, and this one is off Armstrong Powerhouse and the route is off backdated train sim. Hello David. And also we have got some keys to give away. But we'll do that once we actually get on to Dovetail DLC. Um, we've got, yeah, 10 keys to give away. Uh, they are all Steam. Um, as that's what Alex um, very nicely gave us. So we got a few keys for South London Network on Train Sim Classic. I think we've got uh, four keys or five keys for the Brighton Main Line. Uh, and also for East Coast World. The East Coast World ones might be Train Sim World 2 ones. Um, but that's fine as it should then just transfer over to train sim or free. Right, I've got to try and remember how we do this. Uh, I've got to try and remember. What can we do there? Oh, yes, at the break to 44. There we go. Uh, so we've got to do that. Oh, yeah, Glenn, my favourite place, eh? Cheers, Max. Let's do that. That should then... Yeah, so we've got power now. Uh, we've got absolutely ages until we're due out of Hastings. We're due out at 55 past. Um, yeah, and you can see we are, I think, in all stops. Uh, so we're due into Tombridge at 22.01, so in an hour and 15 minutes. I don't know how long the stream's going to be. Um, I did try to play some FIFA tonight, but not obviously off-stream. So hopefully before 11 we'll be done. Oh yeah, let's shit. Cheers, Justice. I was actually going to do it the other way round, uh, but there's no scenario yet from London to Tombridge. So, uh, well, we didn't in the end. And I've just realised it's 20.45. I thought it was a bit... Uh, I, thought, I thought this was early morning for some reason. Okay, so it probably will get dark as we go along. Um, but then on the next scenario, it's like early morning. So, um, well, yeah, it might get dark on this one. Uh, but that's that's fine. Right, I think we leave that now. Uh, we'll come over to the handbrake and set that up. Hello, Theo. It was, yeah. Um, take the paddle away. Pretty much a cricket bat, really, isn't it? Uh, get the lock. And then we'll start, start doing that. Yeah, handbrake comes off. Yeah, so hopefully no one minds it being a little bit dark on this first journey. I didn't realise it was this time. Uh, but this is like the only Hastings to Tombridge scenario I could find. All the others are going back the other way. Uh, which I'll say is probably the more popular way to go towards uh, um, towards Hastings. Cheers, Patrick. <laughs> That's it. We've got 23 on the front. That's fine. Have we got the reds on the back? And it is Connex, so it is, so this would be set, what, in the late 90s, early noughties? Hello, Callum. 
It was, yeah. Uh, well, hopefully, Joseph, yeah, if we're, if we're done this at a reasonable time. Uh, get the headlight on. And we should then be able to get into... Actually, that has to be at 55. Which is not at 55. That concerns me. Oh, I know why. Now it'll start moving. We've got to wait for the brake uh, gauge to get to 55. So about there. And your torch lights, yeah. Ooh, listen to that. This is probably the most detailed train there is on Train Simulator. It's twenty nine ninety nine. This train, which you're, bloody, you're probably like, bloody hell, twenty nine ninety nine for one train. Well, yeah, <laughs> but this is completely built from scratch. It doesn't have any dependencies. I don't, I don't think it has any dependencies. Uh, so it's just, it's completely, yeah, it's just a whole new train someone's made. Uh, but it's fabulous. I, I really, really want to see one of these on Train Sim World one day. A 90s network southeast route. Or just any sort of third rail slammer. Yeah, 421, 422, 423, 411. I don't mind. I think the 412 is in that sort of southwest way, isn't it? That's on with the buffet car. Or a 412. So let's wait for the brakes to charge. Uh, which they are getting there slowly uh, and then we shall be off so yeah it will get a little bit dark um, but not that we can really do about that so I mean this train pretty much Theo is the renown of Train Sim Classic and then the renown is the 411 of Omsi what's the schedule today? Uh, well, I suppose Hastings all the way up to London, then London, Vic uh, London Bridge to London Victoria, London Victoria to Brighton, and then Brighton to Eastbourne. So a 10 mile journey it could be, but no, it's going to be probably 100 miles or so. As yeah, between uh, Bo Peep Junction and Willingdon Junction, it's not in the game. Or at least that I know of. So... Hey, Callum, thanks for gifting one BA membership. wonder who's going to get it. Cheers, Callum, mate. Yeah, quick, I got the membership as well. I got my cup of tea as well. Lovely stuff. Uh, tea, Theo. Tea, thank you. <laughs> Bloody coffee. Right, let's, um, let's do that. There's Pivers. Yeah, if anyone knows what the CSR radio is for Hastings, do let me know. I mean, the CSR radio area for Hastings. But it doesn't say on there, so... I'll have to keep it off for now. Let's get the motor fat. It sounds probably actually like it already is max. Yeah, it's already at max. Yeah, cheers, Callum. So we're going to have a nice, massive train journey tonight. Let's hope the stream doesn't crash or the game doesn't crash. How long will this journey take? Three or four hours? Top speed of this journey, well this specific one, is 90. Well, that'll be, it'll be 90, it's third rail. Bloody hell, Theo. Yeah, this is Hastings. But yeah, this is a freeware route, this one. There are quite a few requirements for it, but it's free. There uh, will be eight coaches. Eight coaches. Probably just right to the end. What routes are, what routes are we doing on train to Mile 3, the Brighton Main Line and East Coastway? the horn sound like the horn well there's lots of different horns on this train uh, right that's just just before it's train sim you're like trains actually a bit further ahead even though it's here so if you go too close to the signal you'll get a spad right let's uh, do the doors get the passenger lights on as well this is the horn we've got today that's not too bad I want the, sc I want the screaming horn though 
That one's not bad. What's the screaming one? Not that one. I want that one. That's the screaming horn. Nice, Mason. It is the screamer. Can't go through the signal. Oh, yes, Glenn. <laughs> Me too, Theo. Horns are good. And the Renown has a good horn. And this, tra this train has a good horn. Yeah, look at that. Connex. So I suppose I'm sort of doing my favourite things to do in Train Sim and Train Sim World. <laughs> doing Brighton Mainline and East Coast, which are it, you know, in my favourite trains and my favourite routes. And then we're doing Train Sim in this, which is arguably one of my favourite um, trains on Train Sim. Uh, in the 90s or early noughties, which is probably one of the best time periods for trains, uh, it's fantastic. Ooh, wow, Glenn. I don't know what is next. So we get the window open. Let's get that open. Oh, we got about. Oh, we only got two minutes now until departure. I was thinking we probably had about ten minutes. Now uh, this is the 1066 line. And we wait. Do you think AP could make trains to trains in world? Maybe in future. I mean, AP do give sounds. We'll dovetail by the sounds of AP for stuff like the 387, the 377. What other ones have AP sounds? Uh, the 375, but then it's just Electro Star sounds. The Class 66 is now AP sounds. So maybe AP will start doing their own things on future in the game, route wise. Because I think AP did the wary lines. So maybe they'll recreate that for Train Sim World. Keep saying out of memory. Ooh, uh, what's the best way to fix the issue? Turn down your graphical settings. And also make sure you're in the 64-bit version. So, two things. 64-bit version, turn down your graphics. 45 seconds. Yeah, I wish I was around to experience these trains. I mean, I was. But not, I can't remember it. I used to live quite close to the railway line in Port Slade, so I, mean, I would have definitely seen these, but I was probably in a buggy seeing them, so. Or barely, well, no, what would I have been? I think these got retired, well, these slammers got retired in 2005. So, yeah, no, I, would have, I probably would have been, well, I was a toddler. So, I probably did see these, just can't remember. <laughs> Train is getting ready. You the ticket man again, Glenn. Remember, if anyone gets, if anyone's on without a ticket, you get your wood out and whack them off the train. The baton. The little baton was in the window. That's what I mean, eh? Where has it gone? Where's the baton gone? Maybe like I've literally a cricket bat in the in in the window. Well, yeah, you get that out and you can. Oh hello. Whack people. <laughs> How come we're not in the three seven five? Because this train's better. Wow, I mean, that's cool. They're, they're both very good. What's that, Jet? Yeah. Oh, I still can't leave yet. We've still got a red. That alarms me a little bit. Hopefully, it's, hopefully it works, the scenario. Alright, you must now wait for the terminating inbound service from Charing Cross to arrive on Platform 3. And at some point, I bet it'll be like tonight, I'll see it on the ATS store. Uh, but this is part one. Part 2 is going to be from Tombridge to London, which would have been perfect. We could have done this train all the way up to London. Um, but so far it's only part 1 which has been made. But I bet I'll go on tonight after this and there'll be part 2 and it'll be like... <laughs> but then it will be dark, I suppose, so... Yeah, you get a free ride. Lovely, Glenn. Already had it, David. I feel like sure. So yeah, it is going to get dark on this journey. So it might be a little bit hard to see. Although it will only be about 50 minutes on here. And in the next one, oh, uh, will be... Um, uh, it will be light. So this was the only scenario going northbound on this route I could find on ATS. Yeah, merch is free delivery. This comes with the order, I think. Oh no, 
nice effort. That would be cool, wouldn't it? Blue Legends of the Southern Region. That would be fantastic. Or just Electric Legends of the BML. Imagine that. And it could also go on to East Coast where there's a new, I don't know, 80s timetable on there. £2 from Jackson. Much appreciated, mate. It's very nice of you. Yeah, cheers, Jackson. Yeah, I was just waiting for the train to cut. I don't know, I should really put this on. I think pretty soon I took it off. There you go. Here comes the terminating service from Charing Cross. That should be a 411 as well. We might even see a thumper on this service somewhere. And the head code board's 23, that's the uh, that's the route. It's a bit like trains today. Well, yeah, they have bloody head codes as well. But on the BML, for example, in Sierra is Cambridge, Tango's Bedford, and Juliet's Peterborough. And then Horsham and Brighton and Brighton, I suppose. <laughs> Unfortunately, Richard, yeah, I was. I should now clear. Fingers crossed. If not, we'll tab it and see what it says. Oh no, uh, as the points have just changed, because that's just come up. I'm I might tab it. I'm going to tab it. Approved. There you go. Just do it, you know, four times. Right, let's hope the points are set. Yeah, I'm good to go. <laughs> Dear uh, fear. And we're off. The weather's a bit nasty. Do let me know about the audio as well. Please be... Actually, I'm going to save the game just, just in case. I oh, know that's set, that's good. Oh yeah, oh. cheers Callum mate. £2 from Callum as well, much appreciated. Well, Callum and Jackson. So, uh, big thanks. You have to go to work on your birthday. Um, can't you take the day off? I suppose that's how far away it is, isn't it? Might be a bit too late to book time off. St. Leonard's Warrior Square, and it's just a sandwich between the two tunnels. Hello, Eagle, this is the 1066 line. And you haven't joined us, uh, you haven't joined us in, in the night, not yet, we're in a tunnel. A very light tunnel, why does the light come on there? Gotta be careful, it will slip on air as well. Only eight months, Richie. Hello, E60, how are you? Oh, no, you're at college on your birthday. Uh, bangers and match, have it on. This is St. Leonard's Warrior Square. I'll tunnel out the other side as well. Be careful because of the rain as well. That will affect our uh, stopping distance. don't really want to be overshooting as well, especially on this uh, stream. That wouldn't look very good. <laughs> Fair enough, uh, Theo. Rivet Games have been very quiet about their new route. Uh, I mean, most people seem to have guessed what it is. And I'm, well, I'm, I'm with them really. I'm going with what the community thing it is. But yeah, I suppose maybe at some point we'll see something more. Is your local route awesome? Uh, get stickers. On your merch or posters. Posters would be cool. I don't know if that's an option though. No. 
West St. Leonard's next never stopped there. Oh, I see. But yeah, lovely. How long have you actually been at Stagecoach, Theo? Never asked that. We know it's electric, Glenn. We know it's a multiple unit. I mean, we, 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 know, we know it's the 385. Um, you do like your electric things, I guess, so I suppose. Let's see, Richard. Yeah, we know it's going to be the 385. I mean, the 385 doesn't run on many routes, that sort of narrows it down. And one's perfect. So, so now we're just waiting for the inevitable announcement. Although we could be, we could be being tricked though. You never know. Maybe they're, um, yeah, maybe they're. I don't know. Throw us off, or maybe they're trying to throw us off. Oh, awesome, Alex. Was a driver or what role? <laughs> Fair enough, Richard. Let's it down a little bit. It's only 32. It's fine. And 25 in a second. Yeah, the flange sounds. Love it. Although I don't like it on the tube. When you're on the tube and you hear the high-pitched squeal of a train coming around the corner, especially at bank, that's horrible. Although when it's overground, it sort of goes out everywhere, so it's a bit better. Right, around we go. Get ready for lots of squealing. Or maybe not. Not too much. Oh, no, there you go. This is West St. Leonard's. This is a curved platform, so I want to be a little bit careful. Hello, Thomas. Bus sim driver countryside. Probably not. Yeah, we've got passenger view. And yeah, we have got the CSR radio off. Um, because don't know the area code. Here we are. Lovely. I do like the Connex livery. Any, anyone else a fan of the Connex livery? I mean, it's sort of as you know, one of the one of the very very good ones, but. It's nice, simple, I suppose. You know, white, and then you've got sort of the the fade of the yellow, like that. Fair enough, Richie. Or well, maybe they're trying to throw us off, though. Maybe it won't be that, as everyone seems to think it is that. But maybe they'll throw us off a bit. And we've missed the guard, haven't we? Yeah. Crowhurst next. I uh, don't know, Callum. If you could filter it to the oldest one, I don't know if you can still do that. As any see you are going on this route tomorrow, nice. Never been on the Hastings line. I've been on the East Coast way to Bore and then Marshland to Ashford. Never been up this way. It's a weird little route, isn't it? You know, the little single line tunnels. Maybe that's yeah. Fair enough, uh, Theo. There's a stage at you, lovely. Oh, we get to do the horn. Here we go. Ready for the scream. <laughs> Cheers, Angel of Crew. In a bit, Callum. I reckon by the time we get to... Robert's Bridge, it'll be completely dark. East Coast is your local line, awesome. As you ever be at Brighton Hope buses, it's probably have to be fairly local, don't you? Did you say you were becoming a driver, Alex? That was one of my childhood dream jobs, being a bus driver for Brighton and Hove buses. I 
still probably wouldn't mind it. Um, but for me, it's more more the better way now. Once it gets really dark, I might be nice and I might turn on the cab light. Otherwise you probably won't see a lot. When I first loaded into the scenario, for some reason I thought it was the morning. Uh, ah, fair enough, I'd probably be on the Regency ones in as well. Fair enough. I suppose you get an awful round. Yeah, 28, 29, 50, 25, 24. 49 possibly. Hey, cheers, Mighty Wish, mate. <laughs> it has, yes. Yeah, cheers, Mighty Wish. How are you, mate? If you're all well. Cheers, Thomas. That'll keep on coming. The trains are the main thing here. We do do other things as well. Nice, Alex. Gemini 2s uh, and I suppose if you're lucky the Omni Deckers. Hello Zaid, how are you? Uh, link to scenario, it's on the Alan Thompson store. Just look at Hastings in the search bar and come up. This is Crowhurst, never stopped here. Cheers glitch, hopefully the audio is all good. Cheers as well, Tom. I think I'll be, I'm actually going into town tomorrow, so in town for a nice bit of lunch. Come here if you want, Theo. <laughs> uh, I do, Callum. Yeah, I do watch Joe Dobson. Pretty much just to work out how to do things on on OMC. You know, setting up the machines and setting up the bits and bobs. Very helpful. Yeah, so I just missed out on the bendies, I guess. There you got all the other little ones. Brighton don't have their Omni... What was it? Omni... I want to say Omni Links, but I think they're Omni Cities. The single-decker Omni Cities. And they used, they used to have uh, double-decker Omni Cities as well, didn't they? Fair enough. Uh, Mighty Wash, I suppose, have fun. Because <laughs> it's... Uh, it looks quite miserable. Out. I suppose pretty realistic weather to this, pretty much. So yeah, safe travels, mate. Draw on Theo. Cheers, Richard. What route is this? This is the 1066 line. Oh, they are gone. Awesome, Jonathan. Oh, lovely. Very nice. I'm just doing roly polies on that chair. <laughs> right. Battle next. Which is in. Two miles. Yeah, and on the next scenario, it will be early morning. I can't contrast. Our delivery is Connex today. And 
yeah, once we get on to uh, Dovetail DLC, it's the South London Network. And uh, I think we've got three codes of the South London Network to give away. Sure is Jonathan. That's the one for Anarchy 16. From Hastings. Sorry, I'm doing Hastings to Eastbourne. Yes, uh, Dovetail very kindly sent us ten keys to give away. I think, yeah, three of... Free of South London Network on Trenton Classic, um, and then oh, there one. and then four Brighton Main Lines for Steam, and then three Coastways. I think. I've got quite possibly the East Coastway ones to Trenton Mod two ones, although that should then convert to Trenton Mod three East Coastway to Trenton Mod three. Zero exploring. I never put key. I never put giveaway or keys in the title. Though. I don't like doing that. Well, I don't think we've ever done that. So by doing that, we then get people coming in and getting it, and then going off and never coming back. So if I don't put giveaway in the title, yeah, usual viewers come in and they get the keys. Nice column. It's a bloody long route. What one are you got? This one. It's on backdated train set. A couple of good routes on there. Well, a few good routes on there, actually. But you could win it then, Richard. It's a pretty essential route, South London Network, from there. Just... And yeah, how's the audio? Hey, cheers, Omar. Yeah. Yeah, I'd love doing the train stuff. And obviously, bye. But the dropping daily trains in the world and said going to daily trains means we can, uh, I suppose, uh, I suppose try and broaden our audience a little bit instead of just trains in the world. And it's more fun as well. We get to do the best of both. Lovely there. Just wait in the chat, Richard. You think the audio is a bit loud? What, the train or me? I'm guessing probably the train. Hey, you could do quick code, depends what it's for. Hey, you can do. As long as it works as well. Modern day Riviera line on train sim soon, maybe. Certainly one we could look at doing. It is, yeah, for mergers. Actually, probably the best route, what, but one of the best and most important routes you can have the South London network. Purely for uh, mer route mergers. Oh, of course, oh, lovely, yeah. Hello, Ben, is that from the Humble Bundle? <laughs> Number so quick drive scenario. That might be that's probably unelectrified though, isn't it? So it wouldn't work. Well, I've seen that one. Yeah, I've seen that one, Jonathan. Hello, NJ. I need to do the South Wales main line at some point. Uh, yeah, if you're trying to put it on there, it might be because it's not electrified, maybe. Don't you worry, Riviera line in the 50s, uh, Theo. I'm sure we'll be doing that at some point. This one has a nice interior, yeah. It's pretty much just a Mark II interior, really, isn't it? No, not Mark II, uh, no. Mark II? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think Mark II. But just for motor coaches instead of a loco. You're a little bit early, mate. You're probably about 20 years early, I'd say. Having a Boris bus then. Here's NJ. <laughs> Modern days better. Uh, what about the 465? Uh, I think if we get the 465, you need another D. No, do you need. I'm not too, I think you need the South Eastern High Speed route. So, Kent High Speed. For. Uh, yeah, you need that. If it's not showing up. I see 60. 
at 80 miles an hour. Not one, is it? Oh yeah, Mark 1's supposed to 50s, isn't it? So. Hello Patricia, how are you? Do you play 23 BML on PS5? Yes. Uh, and let's say no. I've had a red light issue on there before. But yes, that's a good idea. Go save the game. Yes, action taken it off. I think it, sh it should, yeah, because if you've got the 465, it should have said you need that DLC for it to work. So yeah, yeah I think it'll be the old Southeastern high speed route for training sim. Classic. Hey, cheers, bitch, mate. Much appreciated. Hello, Dr. Davis. How are you? I think it's not raining, doesn't it? about the Armstrong Powerhouse 465. About like 365 maybe for it to work. What does the horn sound like? Like this. It's nice. We've got the yard here. We've got a little silence. Yeah, the hyper network cannon. It's down there. The branch line going off. Well, actually, hang on. I've seen a video. Somewhere, somewhere, it's it's some sort of freight line down there. Yeah, someone did a video and I watched it, and they were like on private land, and apparently they got told off. What is it modelled on here? Let's have a look. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? Yeah, that Mountfield Gypsum Quarry. That's the one. Here's the you know what I found a Here's with it, yeah. Because use the advanced passenger train maybe at some point. Are we going to Charing Cross? We'll only take it as far as London Bridge. Because at London Bridge we gotta hop over to the other platform and take a 456 from or it could be a 455. Uh, from London Bridge to London Victoria. Too far to Roberts Bridge. Yeah, so let's see, we've got Roberts Bridge, Etchingham, Stonegate, Wad uh, Woodhurst, Frank, Tunbridge Wells, Highbrooms, and Tunbridge. About 40 minutes still to Tunbridge. So yeah, it's gonna get dark. Uh, in fact, it's not much darker there then, the lights just changed. But in the next one it'll be light. Hopefully you can have can you see it all right on the screen? Worst case scenario, I've got my cab light. This is sort of a special stream, so. It's going to take a while, quick, okay? Although, in real life, they're only taking an hour and 25 minutes. Although, we are a slow one. A little bit dark. Traction, it's not. Coming into Roberts Bridge.
Hamden on a 375 from Cannon Street to Hastings, lovely. Yeah, we are sort of jumping eras on this stream, we're probably going from the, the 90s to the noughties, and then the 2020s, and then back to the 2010s. Well, no, we're probably going to have 90s, then probably 10s, then 90s again, yeah, we're going all over. Time travelling. Probably quicker, yeah. But we're not worried about the time. And after this stream, I'm gonna have to play a little bit of FIFA. It's, it sounds amazing, doesn't it, Ben? Trains of today don't sound as good as these things. Here we are, Roberts Bridge. And you've got the line off to um, Tenterton, the Tenterton, Tenterton, uh, which uh, well would go off here, and then uh, well, I suppose up round there, quite a tight corner there, over towards Bodium. Uh, I don't think the Kent East Sussex Railway have got to Roberts Bridge yet. I think that is their long-term plan. I suppose a bit like the Blue Bear Railway, they want to get to Alding, though. I don't know. Will it ever happen? Maybe. So COVID's probably been a massive hit. Is there a train sim that had the Waterloo to Reading route? I don't think so, Taku, no. Yeah, well, welcome back, Seven Enthusiasts. <laughs> Cheers, uh, Callum, mate. Awesome. What's my next sub, girl? I don't really, I mean, I know, you know, everyone, I know in the video descriptions it says, I know, 10,000 by blah, blah, blah. But they don't really just put them, because we've always put them. Really, I, I don't really have a sub go. I just, I just play games, I play with trains and buses, and you guys like it, so you press subscribe. So I don't really have a sub go, really. I mean, yeah, in the descriptions it says, can we get to that by, I know that, but... I just update that randomly to a random number, pretty much. Uh, I don't really care if we don't make it or not. So yeah, really, I don't really have a, a sub go. I just play, and people like it. So oh, I start to I'm in it for the fun. Yeah, do tell me if you do want the cab light on. As, as it's a special stream, I'll put the cab light on. Have you seen the cargo plane on rapid transit? I haven't, no. Never. I, just, I don't really need mastery on trains in well. It's one of the things I sort of don't do. I mean, if I unlock it, cool, but I don't... Local line, and that's uh, someone in there said it's a local one. Here's MJ, mate, that's appreciated. Let's get an external arrival. Not 
Smudge is on the move. He scratched the door in a second. Now see the doors opening before we actually come to a stop. Well, actually, it depends how many people we're getting off. Once they're very many here. Our train probably actually would be fairly quiet, as most people would probably be uh, heading back from work from London. Here we are, this is Etchenham. This has got the random doors closing and opening all the time. I like that way, you just see some of the doors opening, some of them closing. And yeah, they're all shut now. Lovely Theo. Cheers, Callum. So we've got about half an hour to Tombridge. And we'll go over to the next scenario. Didn't put it into neutral there. Oh well. Let's go. Fair enough, Alex. Right, I'm going to quickly try and lay out Smudge whilst driving. So hold on a sec, right, I'm going to shoot off and hopefully DSD or nothing goes off already. Well, it wouldn't be DSD on here, I don't think. Uh, right, going out, quick, come on, let's get her out. Come on, Smudge. safely out the room. Let's go down to uh, notch for it. Oh. There we go. Hey Krasa, how are you? When is the next scenario? In about half an hour. So yeah, it is a little bit dark for now. But hopefully you can see alright. I suppose if you can't see alright, try and turn up the brightness a little bit. And um, maybe it's see slightly easier. What I do actually is I'll turn on that. And you're not really supposed to turn on the cap light, but as it's a special and I want you know into the journey I'll keep it. Over to Stone Gate. Yeah, the next scenario we then set a 375 up, take it into Tombridge and then take it up to London. If that is the one. I think I've got two scenarios now from Tombridge to uh, London. So I'll see what one we do. Stonegate. 
Lovely fear. Get it all done. There go away. Edge is archer. Yeah. Even into Louise as well, how are you? Probably, yeah, uh, Gregory, yeah. Yeah, what a time this would have been, though, for this sort of traction, the 90s, or just all through sort of the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. Particularly the 80s and 90s, those motor sounds. Wow. Sounds easy for you. Cheers, Inter. Here we are. Yeah, so we're going from the 90s to the, uh, I suppose, 10s, then to the 90s again. Uh, so, yeah, we're going a bit all over. We're time travelling on this stream. Hurst next. Cheers, Mr. Talk a lot. Oh, I said it into. There. So, yeah, we shouldn't have the cab light on because, well, you're not supposed to have the cab light on. But as we're streaming, as we've got a big journey, we'll, we'll have it on just so you guys can see. Otherwise, you won't be seeing it a lot. <laughs> Hello, Cams, how are you? Cheers. Once we've uh, got to Tombridge, we'll be going in the uh, the successor to these. Oh, that's what we'll said. We'll be going in the successor to these trains. Three, the Electro Stars. Yeah, I'll be doing clubs later, Lewis. What's our routing for tonight? The bloody long way, Sam. <laughs> We'll go in from Hastings, instead of going, you know, any normal person would go Hastings to Eastbourne, 10 miles, nice and easy, done. But that route isn't on train sim, or train sim well, unfortunately. So we've got to go Hastings to Tombridge, and Tombridge to London Bridge, London Bridge to London Victoria, London Victoria to Brighton, and then finally Brighton to Eastbourne. So probably about, a, I don't know, if I, can anyone work out how many miles that is? 50 and 17, we'll say about 70 there, 80 we'll say there, maybe 120, 100, I'll say about 120 miles. How many more stops to Tombridge? Uh, we've got Wadhurst, Fran, Tombridge Bells, Highbrooms and Tombridge. About 25 minutes time. We've only got water lights on there. Yeah, so it won't. It will be dark for another 20 minutes, and we'll be over to the next scenario, which is set about four in the morning. But it's summer early in the morning, so it's lightish. That'll be fantastic, Alex. Mm -hmm. How long have we been going already? It must be about an hour already, mustn't it? We best be finishing soon then. No, I'm just joking, we'll be on the full fan. Which I'm hoping to be done by at least half 10, 11 inch. If that happens, we'll, we'll wait and see. It'll definitely be by then. Although I don't know. I want to play some footy, so. I suppose 10 minutes of that worth setting up. 
going. Have you got this train sam on uh, train sim? Mm. Or are you, are you into your old uh, third rail stop? Don't you worry, that's so well. We're in the 411. I think the difference with the 412 is I think it's got one extra coach, hasn't it? And it's the buffet car. Or it's just one of the coaches, the buffet car, it's four. I think it's five, isn't it? Or is it four and just one of them is the buffet? I don't know, I can't remember their technical names. It's like four set and something, something. I think the 412 is the four set, isn't it? Not too good with those abbreviations. Awesome sound. I mean, in the UK, I suppose, Gregory. Oh my god, it feels too. It feels so dangerous at 60, but. It, I mean, in the UK, trains do sort for 24 hours. I mean, Thames and they're on the BML, sort of, you know, you get odd train at 1, 2 in the morning. If you're on about DLC trains, cams, they don't show up in training centres. It's weird, but they don't. 10 hours straight, we've done that before. pounds, which the original goal was like 50 uh, for Red Power Crescent. Where are the headlights? We actually do have a headlight tonight. Trains were waiting for us. There's another one there as well. Here we are. Probably right to the end. There's the four. You don't think there's enough whistle boards? Is that, is that sarcasm? No, there's quite a lot on it. Or, or not. Yeah, this is the freeway route. Oh, the smudge is back in. Wish us luck. We could have gone the really long way. We could have gone, um,. I was considering it, but I was like, let's just go the direct sort of ish way. <laughs> but we could have gone, uh, well, I suppose a, uh, another way would be going up to Tombridge and Tombridge across to Red Hill, but that's not in the game either. So, uh, but we could have gone Tombridge, then gone up the Medway Valley line to Strood, and then gone on Train Simwell 2, uh, Train Simwell 3 from Strood to Rochester, and then Rochester to London Victoria, and gone that way. It was actually, that would only probably be about half an hour. Yeah, it's probably only about half an hour more, actually. I'd say half an hour, 40 minutes maybe more. <coughs> then you don't have to do London, uh, bridge to London, Victoria. But I thought we'd uh, make the most of the new South Eastern network. Let's front next. That's easy, How are you, madame? Hello, Heiko, how are you? Good evening. save the game as well. I'm sort of expecting a crash at some point. So we've got Frank, Tunbridge Wells, Highbrooms and, Tom, uh, Tom, and Tombridge in about 20 minutes time. Although we did leave Waterhurst at about 3 minutes late, so it'll be a bit longer. Enjoy Amanda. Cat is here, yeah. Oh, that's Will Slip. Tom, <laughs> all the really long 
Work London, Edinburgh, Glasgow, London, Penzance, London. Yeah. <laughs> That's another way of doing it. How far is it to France? Uh, two miles. And don't worry, we'll be, we will see daylight in the next scenario. This was the only one uh, from Hastings to uh, Top of the Front. Look at chilling out. Spotted it. CSR radio it is off because I didn't know the uh, area code for Hastings, so I uh, just have to go off. I think I'm putting in the wrong area. Cool. And yeah, from Victoria to Brighton, we did the Gatwick Express. On the East Coast, we will then do the 377. And this is France. Oh, I'll take her, not him. Looks like it has been a very long route so far. The, the darkness sort of contributes to that. I don't know, Gregory. Couldn't guess. My best guess would be French, maybe. <laughs> sure is, Callum. Heiko's been here for a while, probably two years or so. It's a cheese Heiko. Can see Amanda driving the bus. Amanda, yeah, Amanda drove the street light. It was it went alright. We'll definitely have to give her a second a second go at some point. Probably better than me to be honest. And the Tunbridge Wells after this. And Smudge is on the move. She's going. Oh, where's she going? Oh, she's knocking over. She's going onto her chair. I've had to sort of cover the power button. I've just only done it once out of so many times. I'm like scared. If she goes on there, she's going to hit the power button. She did it once. Luckily we weren't live or anything like that, but she did press the power button and it turned off. Alright, okay. Right. I think we've probably missed the guard, haven't we? Probably. Let's watch it leaving. I'm also save it as well. Tunbridge Wells next. Hey Belgium, how you doing Benoit? Welcome in. See the guard's door open. Fantastic, isn't it? Did anyone ever travel on one of these? A third rail slammer? And specifically the 411. I mean, it's only got retired, I think, in the... I don't know about the 411 specifically. They might not have been 2005. Nice, Jonathan. 
It would be nice to see a 4-2-1 or a 4-2-3 enhancement pack, or a 4-2-1-2-2-2-3 enhancement pack at some point. Like, you know, a full new, newly done. Maybe that's what the frame of this one's working on. Because I think this, even though it's an AP pack, I don't think this was actually modelled by AP. Uh, I, did, I think, yeah, I think the sounds might have been done by AP, but the model was done by someone else. Awesome, Alex. That's it, Doctor. Tucked away, preserved. That'd be weird. Imagine in future, Heritage Knights have third breath. Just to run these things up and down. From Tunbridge Wells, it's not far to uh, uh, Tunbridge. And then we'll hop into an Electro Star, which is quite different to this. And what took over from, I suppose, these. Those little jolts in a second, there we go. Feel the jolt coming here, look at this, whoa! Is that even derail? Evening, Liam, happy new year to you too. I know someone did say before, I think. I think it's like in the credits of it. Wow, this over the day the electric cell is reserved. I mean, one will observe when they someone will observe the electric star. Still in this one, yeah. I should get a bit longer than I expected to get past this one. You sure have Kit? That's uh, what was your name before? Oh, I can't remember it now. Is it was it Kiaden before? Yeah, you've been around here ages. So cheers for staying in. Let's see. It was very nice to see you, Callum. Cheers, cheers, mate. All members of the area. <laughs> and here we are, Tunbridge Wells. Get right towards the end. Cheers, Curly. I don't know, uh, not sure. Oh, yeah, Kiaden, yeah. Here we are. Sort of just tucked away this station, so I've been in the cutting. Uh, cool. Cheers, uh, Kiaden. Cheers. Right to the end there, I suppose. And you've got an S car stop. Here we are. Only a few days ago it was 9.3k, yeah, that's probably about two months ago. I've seen it, I think, twice. Yeah, I went on one from Reading to Didcot Parkway. And I saw one whooshing by at like full speed, which was quite cool. Now, this is the class 411. Hybrams next, which isn't far. I suppose it's probably just a suburb of Tunbridge Wells. Got to put it into neutral again there. Oh well. Should be quick, okay. Yeah, leaving Tunbridge Wells. Darkness. Light. <laughs> Little cut out of the lights there. And I wonder how many years HST is having to go, or even months. Scotrail have them, don't they? They have quite a few of them, don't they? The Inter Seven Cities. They won't be going in any time soon, will they? Maybe a bit. You don't like Lumo? Why's that? The blue train. 
was it? The 803, isn't it? The uh, Blue Man? I think it's the 803. It's our final stop of Tom Bridge for this scenario. Hello, boss man, how are you? We have got a long, long way to go. But, don't you guys stick around, have a nice chat, chill out, enjoy the journey, and it will be daytime in the next scenario. I have turned the cab on just so you guys can actually see something on this one. But it was the only one going northbound. I originally was going to do eastbound to Hastings, uh, but then there was no southbound scenario on the southeastern network. So it was a little bit of a pickle. Do I do flights? And we do. Not very often at the moment. Nice quick, eh? It's high brooms. Lovely. And from here, yeah, it's not far to uh, Tombridge, if I can remember correctly. And there's no station in between here and Tombridge, so. Here we are. Tombridge is. Oh, only three miles. Not far. Oh, see Curly. Now we wait. Let's uh, do that. Cool. Right. Let's go. Let's go. It says we're due there at 22.01. But this is a two-parter scenario. The part two hasn't been made yet. So eventually it will be hasting us all the way to London. Nice oh, ship, Gregory. Oh, she is. When it's daylight, it would be quite nice scenery along here. Um, yes. <laughs> we only saw about the first half, uh, and then it's dark now. But that's fine. This train just really want to hear the audio. Fantastic. Try not to be very great. Well, by the time we get probably 
you to Brighton Main and I'll be very uh, sleepy. But it's now about to start at the moment. Final destination on this stream is Eastbourne, so we're going the complete wrong way. Uh, but that is what, that's the fun of it. We're going via London. Oh my god, that feels so bloody rough across there, but it's 60 miles an hour. That was felt horrible. Come on, we need to slow down. It's 20. Probably not going to be in time for that 20, are we? No. Well, only just, only just. Yeah, and around the corner into Tombridge. You'd be probably you'd be flung across the train there. Hello Sam. Cheers mate. 1,400. Lovely. So that would have been what? Ooh. I think that was when Mutant to Augsburg came out. So back in 2020. Cheers for sticking around. Hello Jack. How are you? Yeah, this is Tom Bridge. So that's the first leg, Hastings to Tom Bridge. So we're now a lot closer to London now. Oh, you had a bus where they had seatbelts. Yeah. Where was that? was a nice run up from Hastings. Took a while, but we're here. About an hour and 20 minutes, I reckon that was. I was probably certain the fast trains take about what, an hour and 25 minutes from uh, Hastings to uh, London. Here. Oh no, there's the uh, stop marker. Oh. Oh yes, Clam, we're going about 10 years forward in time. Or probably 20 years forward in time. <laughs> probably Gregory, yeah, that's a very, very good point. They should. I'm driving. That was a good scenario. That's off uh, the Alan Thompson Sim store. Uh, one Hotel 80, I think it is. Just pop that in the search belt. It'll come up. There's only two on there. One Hotel 80. One's like a North Wales coastline one. And well, this one's this one. Right, I shall put up the Be Right Back screen. And I shall load up the next scenario. Just so you don't have to see me loading it all up and the sort of boring bit. Um, once we're on the loading screen, then I'll turn it back. There you go, thanks for driver. Take from me out there. Don't complete your scheduled time step correctly. Oh, we didn't. Oh, oh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, right, hold on a sec. Let me quickly set it over to this.
There we go, now loading into the next one. I know this one takes a little while to load, so I didn't want to keep you on that screen. Yeah, part one's done. Hello, Theo. And this one's about four in the morning, so it's just about light. Hello, train fan. Obviously, there's not many scenarios for this route, and there's not really many scenarios for the Hastings line as well. I mean, one's a freeway run, and one's a one's a thingy. Right, let me unpin that because obviously we're we're done that one now, aren't we? Uh, unpin. There we go. If mod. Can we have a mod putting in the chat what route we're doing now? I know Glenn's there. Glenn, just put. I know this route is the southeastern network. We don't have to, but <laughs> just lets people know. And I put this is Southeastern Network Part 2. Out of how many are we doing? Is it five? Yeah, five. Yeah, five sort of parts to the journey. So, Southeastern Network Part 2 out of five. Something like that. And yeah, once we get onto the South London network, we'll then start doing the key giveaways, uh, which will be for the South London network, uh, which Dovetail have very, uh, very nicely sent over for us. Oh, see, Callum. Wait to load in. Oh, there you go, Richard's done it. Let me... Uh... Spoiler. <laughs> Oh my god, what one's it gonna do? What? No, what? No, why has it done that? <laughs> I, I don't know how I've managed to do that, Glenn. I, man, I clicked on the three buttons and it's just timed you out. Let's try Richard now. What's it gonna do? How does it do that? that apologies, Glenn. I don't know why it's done that. I clicked on the three buttons and then was like, oh, I'll do that one. And it just timed you out. You don't see that very often, do you? Right, let's uh, do that. Uh, do that. Uh, can I untime you? Is that something I can do? I'll do that if I can. Let's have a look. How stupid the way it's done that. I'm scared to click on the three buttons now. Uh, what can I do? No, oh, you can't do that. Unbelievable. There's only five minutes in it, I suppose. Uh, it was some day running. We are eight coaches. Um, uh, I don't think we should do. Uh, I don't think we need to do the GSMR just yet because uh, I don't think there's really anywhere to register it here, is there? Not really, no. So we're getting to the platform first, and then we'll register it. Let well, me do this, say. No. Poor Glenn, eh? <laughs> Comes on the farm and helps out. And they believe that's but timed out. Unbelievable. Uh, I think it's one. I think it's one zero zero one. Oh, was it one thousand? Where's this one going again? It's uh. It's uh. Charing Cross, I think, isn't it? Charing. We're not actually going the full way to Charing Cross. Let's try one zero zero two. Probably actually tells us. Let's have a look. No, it doesn't. Uh, we're due out of Tombridge at 45, so we're all good for time. No, we're not pairing it from cold. It's, it's all set up for us. There we go, Charing Cross. Do that. There we go. Uh, we'll get that one as well. Uh, forward. Uh, yeah, sure is, Doctor. Sure is. Oh, bloody Glenn. But yeah, it didn't even... So I clicked on the three buttons for Glenn. And tried to sort of click off and it just timed out. So no clue. I am doing it on the tablet, so it's a bit sort of tiny screen. It's quite easy for something to go wrong like it just did. Oh, 
We are doing train some more free. We'll be on that in another two parts. Gotta get up to London first. Uh, ten codes to give away tonight. The, the first one will be, well, we'll do them on South London Network. Should have really done the depot with saw size coming out the side. And yeah, that'd be awesome, Doctor. All the way down to Ashford. Fantastic. Cheers, Isaac. Trains and World will be the second half of the stream. Or really, probably last third of the stream. Didn't think it would take that long, that first bit. <laughs> but, oh well. Oh, bloody hell, man. Whoa. I think it says we've got a guard on, actually. Hold on. Oh, what is it? Control R, I think. Oh, it still bloody says, yeah, we'll close the doors first. Let's do that now. Actually, can we do that? No, we can't go away. Ah, plastic star. You don't like your third rail trains. Unbelievable. Right, let's um put that to that. Put that to arm. Um, expansion for train support expansion. Uh that arm. Um, got to change ends. So you're bloody boiling in here. Uh set that to that. Uh that should be alright as it is. Let's change ends. Uh, it does, I believe. It says that already. Yeah, coach number eight of eight. I don't know if it might change now we're on this side. Let's go and see if it will actually. Well, let's say now coach one out of uh, four, five, six, two. There you go. It's changed now. Coach one of eight. Right, now we can set this up as well. Head code, ew, what's the head code? Someone see it up there, what's the head code for the service? Hey, there he is, says Glenn. <laughs> right, that was a strike. Oh. <laughs> the stream. It was an accident, I swear. Well, it was. I don't know why, um, yeah, weird. Right. So that's on, uh, was it 1 4? 1 4? I think it's 1 4 8. Yeah, 1 4 8. But if anyone can tell what that head code is, that would be fantastic. Yeah, Glenn is back in the room. Look, at, I can't see it out there. As it's literally just off my screen. Wait. <laughs> yeah, what is the head code? Top left. Now one, two, three, four. One Yankee O oh, two. Cool. One Yankee Zero Two. And the signal ahead of us was one four. Okay, we're all registered. Uh, we've got, let's see what we got stations we got. We have got, um, <laughs> uh, we got Hildenborough, Seven Oaks, Chelsfield, Orpington, London Bridge, and that's obviously how far we're going, London Bridge. So we've got about 55 minutes to London Bridge. It's only in 30 miles, but it's us 55 minutes. I suppose if you were non stop, it would be. I suppose, yeah, because it's an hour and 25 minutes, I think, for a fast train between London and Hastings. So it'd probably take you, what, 40 minutes if you were fast? 
and go in the right way as we go via Catford Bridge. You up for some pro clubs tonight, Glenn? Uh, uh, well, I suppose once we finish this, we'll be uh, on to that. Sharing Cross. We've got a few minutes to wait, then we'll be off. Would you out feels at 45, I think? Yeah, 45. There we wait. So this is the long way to London Bridge, pretty much. And then we've got to do London Bridge to London Victoria. Then Victoria to Brighton. And then finally Brighton to Eastbourne, which should be about 35 minutes. Are you the ball? Oh, I sure will be, Glenn, just for you, mate. <laughs> Which three? Uh, we are in the Dash 8, so you've got the uh, CCTV. So good, Adam. 66, is it? Cool. Yeah, I did have a look at that little guy and I went down to the index to see what Hastings was. And it said like S something, something, something. And I was like, whoa. And that was like five minutes before we started. So I was like, you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll just leave it. But cheers, Adam. Yeah, next time we do, do uh, 66. How are you, Adam? Uh, Maidstone East? Uh, no. Now we can change that to. Oh. Can't yet. Behaving strangely. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we don't. We don't have a guard, so we won't reply to that. And it's Hildenborough next. Do what, uh, Curly? What transfer files on the stream? I would make myself a tea at some point, but that would take probably like five, ten minutes. I don't, really don't want you guys waiting about. So we go all the way there. We did have our tea at the beginning, I guess. But that last journey was tiring. But the fact is because it was bloody dark the whole way, or most of the way, so it didn't help. Bloody hell, uh, Rico. 100 tone, eh? <laughs> yeah, the Transpennine Express 350s are pretty cool, didn't they? Don't know how many did they have. <whistles> Press Q for that to begin with, and I was like, oh yeah, it's E. You could always play a video. That's true. Yeah, I could do that. Not to uh, 50. So yeah, we've gone from the 411 to the 375. Yeah, we should do the horn at the moment because it's not 6 o'clock. But it's fine because we're cool. Not too fast to Hilden, but we've got a hundred, I don't know, hundred miles an hour. How on earth? A hundred in the 375s. That was me sounding in the hall. I want a hundred on the Brian Main Line. South East and get to go, I think even South West go a hundred, don't they? Well, I don't think it's a hundred for long, though. So yeah, 100 miles an hour is our top speed today, if we make it to 100, which is very unlikely, because we are a slow service, and we're going uphill, so, unlikely. Cheers, Mason, at some point whenever I check, I'll accept it. I thought it's not a close friend request. I want to see those shit. <laughs> Lovely.
They are coming into our first station stop, which is Hildenborough. Nice doctor. So we're due into London Bridge in about 45 minutes or so. Because we're going the slower way. He did, uh, Jonathan, yeah. But not anymore. Amanda, do we have Amanda still here? So I'll probably end up sending you the codes for the South London network. It's quite hard to copy them into the chat when it's the tablet. I'll probably end up bloody timing someone out again. No, I mean. <laughs> Let's cross country go from any southeastern stations. No. No. One thing I don't know, why do some southeasterns, I think it's the 377 6, isn't it? Why do they have pantog uh, pan uh, pantographs? Southeastern don't have pantographs anywhere. Well, they do, but not for the 375s. See, so southeastern high speed. Or is it just sort of a thing, you know, they can then transfer the unit somewhere else? This is Hildenborough. You miss mo you haven't missed most of it, you've still the first half. Probably well no, it is still the first half. Yeah. Should have really put it into neutral there. Oh well. Yeah, this is the uh, southeastern network. This is, which is a free route on the Steam Workshop. I see Jonathan. Stream will be quite a long stream. Get back in. Still 100 miles an hour. And yeah, London Bridge is at 35. So it's an hour long this scenario, especially when we begin. So we won't take it to Charing Cross. Uh, I mean, if we did take it to Charing Cross, you could then hop onto the Baker Loo. But then you wouldn't be able to get to Victoria, so. Yeah, uh, I shouldn't still be using the horn, it's too early still. Uh, would you be able to put the codes for the South London network into the chat? Well, the same way you did with Train Operator. And we didn't do that game at some point, we'll do that in the next. I don't know when we'll do it, but we'll do train operator soonish. Quite quite busy with uh, other bits and bobs recently. You've got a lot of favourite trains, then, Rico. A lot of uh, a lot of uh, favourite trains. Seventy coming up. At the end of this tunnel coming up, it's seven oaks. What was that? What do you mean? What was that? Sounds good, Amanda. Uh, how do you make a Sonara start at Charing Cross on the southeastern network if there's not a start location? I think you have to put a start location in. I don't, don't know how you do that, but that's what I said on the thing for it. Well, they're slowly becoming more and more scenarios for this route, which is fantastic. Hey, Tyler, how are you? Oh, <laughs> oh dear. 
What, what have you seen in them? Uh, what state? I've seen vomit everywhere. You know, piss and crap all in the toilets. Uh, probably, yeah, not, probably not pleasant. <laughs> Lovely doctor. The next part will be the South London network. Which we will have, uh, I think, was it uh, three or four keys to give away? We'll do a man double, we've still got 50 minutes, so. Oh no, 40 minutes. Sure was Jonathan. Lovely scenario, that one. Right, it was, it was perfect. Perfect for showing off the route. And Cranky what even uh, came into that video and watched it. Let's put a comment in saying thanks for doing the scenario. A lovely scenario though, perfect for showing off the route. Sunny, in 707, so lovely. It's a really long tunnel this one, Seven Oaks Tunnel. The longest ones there must be in the, in the south. That's on forever. And we're going about 70 miles an hour. I, I always thought Clayton Tunnels are one of the longest ones, but they can't be. Nice Richard. Very good job of Hello you, uh, how, are, how are you? Yeah, now approaching Seven Oaks. I suppose we're almost in London now. Yes, uh, it must be you there, Doctor. That's you. In the uh, 700. But yeah, I can't wait to see further updates to this route. I can't remember what uh, Nicholas said he was working on on the next phase for it. Uh, but then, as I said, it's sort of his personal project, so uh, uh, I'll just do it over time. Ooh, Theo. It's a hour, I'm alright. Yeah, so we're still going the complete wrong way at the moment. And we'll start going the right way once we're uh, at London, Victoria. But until then, we're going the wrong way. Should ideally be. I mean, East Coast way is about 35 minutes because we're not. We're, we'll do a fast one. We're not stopping at bloody Moleskine. Um, yeah, so that should be about 35 minutes. The BML is about 50, so it's about another hour and 20 hour 50. Yeah, we've definitely still got another two hours. I reckon we'll be done uh, by 11. A little bit of an external arrival. Here we are, let's do the doors. This is Seven Oaks. Oh, did it? Next bit is Seven Oaks to Swanley. Okay, so that's only you. Well, it's still probably quite a big bit when you're making the route, but this was a slightly shorter ish bit. And that, oh, that's where it goes off, and that's where it goes off to Ashford International. That bit, I think that's the Maidstone East bit. That's where it goes off. Chelsfield next. We're actually on time at the moment, which is good. Um, Seven Oaks Tunnel is over 1,000 metres longer than Clayton. Bloody hell. You see, I always thought Clayton Tunnel was one of the longest ones. Probably the longest on the Brighton Main Line, but maybe longest in sort of the southern operated area, maybe. Hello, Sam. Cheers, Connie. Yeah, it was a good Christmas, uh, and yeah, definitely a good New Year's break. Cheers, Connie. You been anywhere today, Tyler? Up at Gatwick or Crawley or... There was only Duncan yesterday at uh, Three Bridges. And once Three came, it was just me. Uh, it would be cool if Dovetail Games allowed developers in 
world building or route building with the train sim they do but the train sim world is a bit trickier uh, although hopefully at some point I actually did put it I think I put it as second or uh, yeah I think I put it as second the train sim world editor if we get that at some point uh, then well for the PC I'm sure there'll be tons more stuff I uh, see hello 101 uh, it is 2046 in the UK. Nice curly. Hello, Cannon, how are you? Let's get a flyby shot. Fit in the flyby ish. Should you drive the 377 or the 375? Do the 377. Bit naughty, sounding the horn again a bit early in the in the morning. <laughs> why do a really early service? Which this is pretty much the only one, so that's why. Do the depot whistle instead. As we go through whatever this station is, would like to learn this Hudless at some point. This line, still route learning it though. He's, he's very good. Long finger man, as we call him here. Well, as mods call him in it. Yeah. 376. 376 would be cool to see. Be perfect for this route. Why southeastern every? Why not southeastern every? <laughs> What's your next question? Why the electro star? Far to Chelsfield. I think terms of Chelsfield is the first station within the contactless zone. Oh, awesome! <laughs> Lovely dovetail going to do the Elizabeth line. That'd be cool, but I don't think they would because, well, it's the point. It, it's what well, it's uh, ATO throughout the core, isn't it? So you'd just be sitting there, not doing a lot. And they've already sort of done Paddington to Reading. They have to update all of that, and then there'll just be so many missing trains. It'll just make it a bit meh. Unless they only did the core section, say between Paddington and Abbey Wood. But then you'd also have to do the door platform doors, which would be a whole different tech to do. Just nah. I'd rather we see something. You know, uh, uh, I mean, I know Elizabeth Line is sort of main line, isn't it? But just not. I, I, I don't really want to see the Elizabeth Line in the game. Not yet. We don't, don't need another sort of uh, one of those for now. Local like Callum. So we have a London-based. Uh, well, it's not a tube line, is it? But you know what I mean. This trip line would be cool. Ballum, turn on the Victoria line, the Victoria to East Croydon. I uh, do want to Ballum. Hello Sam, how are you? Welcome, uh, welcome in. I'm sure downhill from here. A little bit of speed on us through here. Gonna save the game as well, just in case. Very deep cutting we got here. Let's complement it a couple of tunnels. So we should be coming into London Bridge in about half an hour's time. And then we'll switch over to the next scenario, uh, which is going to be. Let's see, Trent to 101. See you, Rico, thanks coming in. Um, I say now, I'm tired. Uh, yeah, now from London Bridge we'll go to London Victoria in probably a 456 or a 455. <laughs> Maybe I think that's quite high expectations there. 
The only sort of simulator YouTuber I know of who I think has over a million is Jeff Faving something. Faving Arno, something like that. But they need that sort of GTA or GTA, you know, LS, PDFR, stuff like that. Evening Dapper. Cheers, mate. Yes, what Amanda said. Uh, we do have a uh, a merch store discount using the promo code 10 Kilo Sierra, so 10 KS. Uh, it's 10 percent off until the 31st of January. And as you guys love the banner uh, of the channel, uh, we have got the banner on a mug, um, which looks pretty clean. And yeah, the prices are quite high on there. Uh, we don't set the, well. We do set the prices, but uh, Teespring. I think the lowest you can put a mug is about twelve quid now. Um, so the profit on there is about a pound for each thing. So it's sort of almost as low as it can go. So you might look on there. You might be like, bloody yeah, that's quite a bit, but that's Teespring. And Teespring products are fairly of a good quality, so I've got a mug myself, uh, which isn't here actually. There we go. This is Chelsfield. Oh, we've got quite a bit on there though. Not really, yeah. Uh Good thing about Teespring though, it integrates with YouTube now. Actually, I think a few websites now integrate with YouTube for uh, clothing and stuff and merch. And it's Orpington next, which is just over a mile. Amanda, when the Scania Omni Decker comes out, you've got to have an Omni Decker top. <laughs> That's a big, big hint. But it doesn't have to be done. I mean, it's still probably ages away. It'll be summertime. Will the stream be a total of four hours? Most likely, yeah. I thought I'd get it done tonight, as uh, well, today we reached 10k, and because, well, tomorrow and Tuesday I'm busy, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I'm, I'm out. That's next Saturday and Sunday, that'll be sort of the next opportunity. Um, so, yeah, well, if I'm working next Saturday, then it'll be on Sunday, so I just thought we'll, we'll get it done tonight. <laughs> oh, Gregory, you do. You get it. And after Orpington, we are then straight to London Bridge, which is nice. Although we're going the slow way, we're going via Catford Bridge. And I think we follow a train pretty much the whole way as well. Cheers Chris mate, and hello Brandon, how are you? Yeah, probably the same. Yeah, um, actually. Uh, actually, I don't know. I did say 11. I did want to be done by about 11. So I want to play a bit of pro clubs. Um, I was like, sort of cuts in. Uh, but it, it might actually be past 11. But hopefully not. <laughs> I see pro clubs won't be on straight at the moment. Here we are. There's a 465, or could that should be a 466 actually. Well, I think it is a 465. Uh, I believe so, Brandon. Most likely. Depends when it was. Here we are, 
this is Orpington. Oh, uh, well, not tonight, Sam, no. So not too far, and we might then, well then we might be going the right way. <laughs> In about an hour's time, we'll then be heading the right way. We'll be heading down south again. But we're going to Eastbourne. Right, get the door shut, and it's London Bridge next. I don't know how long we've been on this one now. Let's go. Leaving Orpington behind. But yeah, instead of going straight up, that way we're going this way. Which is a little bit longer. Bit of a diversion. Right, let me uh, send that over to Amanda. Let's yeah, do that. Oh, awesome. Perhaps all right then, Brandon. Can't go wrong then, I suppose. Let's quickly get in the uh, codes. So what I'll do is I'll just screenshot that. is Petswood I believe we're coming up soon yeah soon we do follow a train Put that down. so going through Petswood uh, once we're on the South London network so once we're on the next uh, train You'll see South London network on there for the ones underneath there. Just do one at a time, I suppose. But not yet. Goodbye, fast way. We're going the slow way. Now uh, we're going this way. Via Bromley South. I shouldn't know where we could just go straight up here to Victoria, but no. Go into uh, London Bridge. Ah, oh, see Brandon. So yeah, we've got about 20 minutes to London Bridge this way. The other way is probably for about 10, 15 minutes. Yeah, so I think we follow a 700, I think it's a 700 we follow. I think we follow all the way to Shortlands. That may be Brandon. <laughs> As we should. Is Glenn still there? In your uh, territory, well, not really, but... This is, I suppose, the southeast of London. Save it as well. This is light though on this one. That's a good thing.
Taking it slow though, might as well just stay at this speed. As we're following another train. Now what it is now, yeah. And it's a red because the train is probably at Bickley, which is a station just ahead of us. Or is it 4-6? Uh, there's a network. I can't remember now what it is. Probably just ahead, wherever it is. At the hacks out, oh, Glenn. You should be checking tickets, see if anyone's fair evading. I'm sure there's probably a lot getting on at Orpington. I was, oh, it's quite funny actually yesterday. I was when I was at the station, uh, some uh, uh, well, teen, that's a child, teenager, probably like 11 or 12. I don't know, probably 12. I don't know actually, 11 or 12 years old. Uh, he tried using his buddy Oyster card. Yeah, probably sort of South London. He started, uh, tried to use his uh, Oyster card uh, at Three Bridges Station. Was like, oh, it doesn't work here. You've got to buy a ticket. And he was like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm going through. I've got an Oyster to buy tickets. And he was only out of, like 12, probably like 11 or 12. I was like, really? <laughs> Hopefully he got caught. Hopefully. I wish to pay, no, I don't need to pay with a ticket. <laughs> hey, Richard. That was clear now. <laughs> told, told them the driver is paying their fine for all. Wow. That put me back about probably £200. More than that now, really. Well, just there yeah, it's a customer service, Brandon. Nothing exciting, but it's it's, it's a start. You gotta start somewhere. Hello, Warbex. How are you? So it's Bromley South, the next station. Oh, nice, uh, Brandon. Need a 195 on train simulator. That's the new northern one, isn't it? It looks like it's a 700 ahead of us. So that will be out the way by. Uh, no, we go to Beckenham, Joe. No, that'll be out the way at Shortlands. Coming up on Bromley South. And then once we get to uh, Beckenham Junction, then we sort of then head the right way towards London Bridge. At the moment we're sort of going, not the wrong way, but not the direct way. And we'll shoot down the Brighton Main Line in the uh, Gatwick Express. Hello, Lisa, how are you? can't use it on buses anymore. It's a bit sad if you can't. This is Bromley South. The next one along is Shortlands, where that 700 should bugger out the way. Hopefully. Save the game again. It's been about two hours now since we left uh, Hastings. Well, since we started at Hastings, so we did have the cold start. Yeah, we're good. How are you? And from London Bridge to Victoria, it's about 25 minutes. 
and then down to Brighton it should be about 50 or well, 55 minutes and then along the east coast we're about 35 minutes should be I'll try and get a service, I'll well, get whatever really. I say match into this time, we've still got the other scenario to go. Almost, Ben, almost. Oh, we can use it anyway, that's good then. That's like the internet doesn't cut out or anything like that. It usually doesn't, but when we do one of these big streams, it's like, oh, actually, I'll, I'll, I won't play ball. Uh, this one's Shortlands. Uh, is that a green? We've now got a green, because that train would have gone via Catford. What, you are? Okay. So at Beckenham Junction we'll be turning off of the Chatham main line. Possibly, Glenn. Possibly. And then do a bit of FIFA. Get maybe you know, three or four games in, I suppose. Dwayne Vick. Not Victoria, yeah. Has anyone been on this route before, the Chatham Main Line, which we're on now? Obviously, uh, London Victoria, all the way down to uh, about Chatham and stuff. Uh, possibly, uh, well, most likely, Quicko. Yeah, the one we did the other day on stream. <laughs> Drinks on the next train, drivers pay for one drink each person on the next route. But, yeah. And also, for the next route. Uh, do keep an eye as we are going to start doing a few giveaway. I think there's three codes for the South London network. So if you've got Train Simulator Classic and you want a new route to play with, which is a very important route if you want route merges, then you can do a full Brighton to Bedford run, or just really good merges. Um, then yeah, keep an eye out. So we're going to put three codes in the chat. I suppose probably every 10 minutes, hopefully. It's about 25 minutes, half an hour the route, so. Lovely, quick okay. You've been out to your local route, awesome. Hey, that's all good, Adam. Oh, I see. So, yeah, getting busy everywhere. Fair enough. I welcome in now. This is the little weird spur off. Oh, that was close. Little weird spur off. Weird bit of track. Hello, Steve. How are you, mate? I keep saying it, but we should do Generation Zero at some point. We, we definitely should. But I keep saying it though. Hold up. <laughs> Down we go. was Beckenham Junction, the next one along was New Beckenham I think. Awesome uh, Doctor. Yeah, a little weird spur, because that track there, that's just a siding. Beckenham, and then I think it's Catford Bridge after that. Was there another one? Might be another one. No, it's, I didn't realise what likes we were on. I, I haven't seen the likes, but even that's right next to how many viewers we've got. I just haven't really checked, really. Have we got 77. Awesome, Steve. I do that, some of that, so I've got a bit multiplayer on there. Definitely need to get you back on a stream, Steve, mate. Yeah, this one's new Beckenham, mate. Yep. Is it Catford Bridge next? 
It's like really close, it's just there. No, that can't be Catfoot Bridge. No, it might be a little bit further. Yeah, it is Jonathan, yeah. Speed that up a bit now. So yeah, this is a bit of a detour, this one. Obviously trains wouldn't usually go this way unless there was engineering works. But it was to maintain route knowledge. That's what it said in the uh, scenario. I'm not sure. Is it Catford Bridge? No, no, it can't be this one. Or is it? What was this one? This one is. Oh, lower, lower Sydenham. Another one I used to uh, say incorrectly. I used to call it Sydenham. That's all good, Steve, mate. Sorry to hear. Hopefully he's, hopefully he's doing alright, mate. Yeah, I have to do some snow run or something. Oh, nice, sir, Jonathan. That was a 707, a city beam. Joining back up with the route we came off earlier. Well, we're now heading in the actual right direction to uh, London Bridge. I saved the game as well. Is sure right? Let's take this. This is Catford Bridge again. You miss Virgin Trains? Fair enough. One of the best looking liveries on the 390. Well, it was only out of Vanity in that. But there's that cursed, um, I see there's that cursed um, 390 pack uh, on, of the train sim, and it's got a 390, I think, an intercity swallow livery, or intercity executive livery, which is really weird. Not quite Davidoff. So we're going to be coming off this bit. Where is Jonathan? Triple two, triple two still about there. That's still gone. Hope it won't be long and it'll be gone, but yeah, it's not gone yet. There's another station along here as well, isn't there? <laughs> oh my god, wow. Hey there, Pete. Glenn's Gaming. Wow. That does sound naughty. I'll be edging over there. <laughs> Glenn, you and uh, yeah, you and Glenn should definitely make a YouTube channel, Pete. You'd be up to 10k in about two days. Everyone would love you. Farming for like hours on end, doing your hunting for hours on end. Well, Pete. Wonder where that goes straight ahead. Does anyone know where's that go down there? I'll probably just check the map actually, that will tell me. And you've got Lewisham. Oh that's Lewisham there. And then that then gets you oh hang on, that's not no. I'll just join you back up. Well, I suppose on the slow side. I'm afraid she would have worked. You would be the next Hanson Deck. Don't worry, Jonathan. Only build one mile an hour. <laughs> it's all good. 
I love the uh, interior in the uh, freighter. It's just very calm, isn't it? It's a very nice colour scheme. Love it. Keep an eye on Smudge if she jumps down from uh, behind. Oh, no, it's about to come up. That way, mate. Come on. Take you out in a second. I'm almost there. Awesome, Steve. You did a good job. Hello, Jay. How are you? The is rubbish, is it? Uh, <laughs> maybe Jonathan. Up to 60. Just isn't, Doctor. Let's get that up. I like that, Amanda. Naughty image. Which you'll see after the stream's done. Let's put that down. Did you see our farm earlier, Pete? The three musketeers chopping down trees and chuck them in containers and shipping them off. It was of his big machinery. Yeah, send it on email. That would be cool. <laughs> Hello, David. How are you? PlayStation booted up soon, um, and then we'll pop over to there. I just hope it doesn't crash Streamlabs. Oh, I should have thought about that actually. And sometimes when you change scenes on Streamlabs, it will sort of um, it will sort of crash Streamlabs, and then obviously the stream ends. So yeah, after mm, yeah, I mean, it should be alright. It should be alright. Lovely then. Yeah, so to, yeah, that's a. Uh, mm. <laughs> They're quite noisy, aren't they? Yeah, so once we do get to London, Victoria, I'll put the B right back screen on. Give me five minutes just to either risk clicking on the PS5 one, which 90% of the time it works, or try and add a few sort of scenes in just so we can switch over and it's fine. Oh, I've been online, Steve. I just appear offline on there a lot of the time. Once I get added to like thousands of groups and stuff. Well, I think you're in the main group we have, Steve, aren't you? You've got like a main chat. We sort of join up most. No, I've got to put on the B right back screen because I've got to change it all over at the PS5 on, get the sort of thingy on, get it all ready. I'm just hoping it doesn't crash the stream as sometimes it does, it's just a Streamlabs thing. That'd be great, great. Also, let's smudge out in a second, but she's meowing. Yeah, South London next. So I'm gonna get rid of that message there now. That should be all good. Oh, nice, Jay. You're quite a way then. Tunbridge Wells to London every day for school. Is that not one a bit closer to home? Ah, oh, excuse me. Well, they have in real life, Doctor. Life. Not in the game though, not yet. That'll be a 387 to Brighton, that's the quicker option. Obviously, as a smart edge now, she's like, no, I'm staying up here. Come on, are you out that way? <laughs> I 
I oh, know, I oh, know, Pete. Fair enough, fair enough. And that pointy thing there is the shard. And also, we're doing the 3 at 7 because then we don't have to do the 3 7 7 twice. Oh, that's quite good, anyway. We've done three electro stars, we're going to do the 3 7 4, the 3 8 7, and the 3 7 7. Fantastic. And then a couple of old bangers as well, the 4 5 6 and the 4 11. Not just yet, Richard, mate, not just yet. All good for now. Once until once I'm loading up it, then you can do it. And this is London Bridge. It took us two hours and twenty minutes to get to the uh to get to here. Fast trains in real life take an hour and 25 minutes. Ooh. <laughs> LP. Not wrong, not wrong. Tiffly. Yeah, how much does it actually cost to go to the top of the shard? There's, I think there's a viewing platform up there, isn't there? Bloody hell, Glenn. I suppose if it did crash the stream when we're on the uh, stream last bit, I suppose we could start up another one. That would be nice just for it to continue as one. Which it should do. Most of the time it does work, other times it's like, no, we're not doing it. Which is annoying when it does that. And this is London Bridge. Right, give me a few minutes. don't know why that, I'm pressing T and it's not doing anything. That's fine, we're switching over anyway. Oh, let's open anyway. Uh, yes, I shall see you all in about two minutes. Hold on. Right, should be uh, should be back. There we go. Um, so yeah, I've, I've, I've actually picked the wrong one, but that's fine because it's um, I think it is it's the same one. It's just with a southern livery. Uh, so we'll do this now. <laughs> I'll wait. I'll probably wait until the end uh, for a cuppa. I am quite first. It's bloody warm in here, but I'll just wait until the end. Uh, yeah, we're going to be giving away. Um, oh, snap a lot. Oh wow. <laughs> oh yes. That's uh yeah. Yeah, I know, Jay, but I mean we wanna sort of flick across to the platform, don't we? So we don't wanna be Oh wow. Uh cool. Uh freedom types of tickets, standard ticket cost thirty two, premium cost forty two. Oh I see. Sure is. Uh Richard, sure is. Uh but yes, Amanda, if you wanna put a key in the chat pretty much any time once we've loaded in and uh, that would be fantastic um, and yeah so yeah we're about to do a giveaway for one version of the South London network for Train Simulator which is courtesy of Dovetail Games uh, as they Dovetail Games Alex very nice sent me a message saying how can I help you celebrate reaching 10k and I was like is there any keys that sort of spare keys to give away he was like, yep, we've got some for PC. So, well, they're the ones we got. Nice, uh, Joseph. Just been indoor skydiving. That's to be fun. This will probably take a while to load in as it'll be busy. Hopefully we are actually going the right way. I'm hoping we're not going the long way around because I won't be happy if we are. Right. Uh, 
by Denmark Hill. Yeah, that's the right way. Cool. So yeah, we're not doing the one I actually was thinking about doing, but it's a different one, so that's fine. That's a slightly more modern one, I suppose. Oh, I didn't like that. The game loaded something there. Which isn't usually a good thing. Yep, a South London network. Should be three on there, but just do one for now. So. I really feel like we're going to get a crash on this one. As long as it doesn't bloody freeze the game, that's fine. Hello, Zach. That is nice of them, yeah. Yeah, Dovetail, very nice. I don't like some developers who are sort of very sort of uh, stern and stuff. Dovetail, uh, nice. Right, let's get that set up on the front. Oh, not that one. Uh, F8, isn't it? Is it F8? Maybe not. Or can we set it up? Is there a electronic panel to set it up? No idea how we use that. Does anyone know how to get this on? There you go, there's the South London network. Key for that. Uh, we need to do that, don't we? Um, I'm hoping the scenario doesn't crash, because this is actually the one I wanted to do, but I wanted to do what we did last time. It's slightly different, I suppose, though. Yeah, how do we get the display up? Left side? Oh, yeah. Right in front of me, eh? Right in front of me. Well, how do we actually get it on? I'm pressing F8 and F7. Let's see, we're going to London Victoria via Peckham Rise. Zero zero eight three four. Let's try that. Zero zero eight three four. There we go, cool. No, it won't be invalid. Dovetail Games Alex sent me that direct. Yeah, we got another two codes. There you go, Richard got it. You hear a brow for there is a four six five, yeah, that'll be a southeastern one. But no, Richard got that code, so there's another two to go though. So, don't worry, if you didn't get that one, there's number two. Uh, I think it's Steve, yeah, as I was pressing F7, F8, it wasn't doing anything. Richard doesn't have the codes, no, Amanda has the codes. Amanda doesn't have train sim, so. My favourite music to listen to would be 80s music, Phil Collins. It's gotta be, it's gotta be, isn't it? Right. We'll get the door shut in a second. We shouldn't have a guard on board either. Well, there's two more codes, Callum, mate. So save your pennies and uh, take, well, probably ten minutes. That'll be the next one. Once we get to, let's have a look. Uh, Peckham Rye, yeah. Peckham Rye will be the next one. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I just, nothing naughty, is it, Pete? What do you have in your hand? Right? Oh, yes, I know what it might be. Is it a BA mods cut by any chance? I think they were right then. <laughs> this is the South London network. And we've got two more codes for it. Two more codes. The next one will be at Peckham Rye. You don't have a log in your hand, Pete, do you? As I know, you said you were doing your farming. <laughs> well, I got Amanda American Trucks in. We played it a couple of times. That's fun. Right, I'm just gonna, I'm saving it a lot on this scenario. That Peckham Rye will be the next one. 
for the rest of today, I can now do it hardless. Yay. Alright, Callum. Lovely Pete. Although I could get him out of the train to him. That's a very good idea. I reckon a laptop could probably run it. Just, I'd say. Yeah, it will be a little bit laggy coming out of here, but that's to be expected. As it's probably full AI. <laughs> Birthday sorted for you. Good idea, Dan. Good idea. Just have to think about that. This would be set in 2013, 14, I'd say. Oh, I see, Callum. No, not anymore. Actually, hang on, that would be GSMR, wouldn't it? Actually, it depends when actually year it is saying. It's got a CSR, but I don't think you can use it. Uh, in a bit, uh, Richard, mate. I can't really at the moment. I'm using the uh, PC for this. I guess it's a screenshot of you getting it. What would they, uh, would they put in the chat for? Yeah, that was a 319 there. That's all good French though. Sorry if I missed your chat, Connie. Did she put in the chat? Oh, yeah. Let's have a look. Uh, send. Oh, yeah, downloading. Lovely, yeah. Richard. Another ugly train. You just don't like third rail trains, that's a shit. We all know, we all know. You love that bloody IET. So South Bermondsey next. So yeah, the next code will be at Peckham Rye. So we've got South Bermondsey, Queens Road, Peckham, and then Peckham Rye. <laughs> oh, come on, Pete, the 411. Come on. <laughs> That's a nice train, isn't it? That's because it's on bloody TSW. A oh, nice column. Have I tried SCR? No. And would I? No. That's just, that's just a simple answer, really. And the only way I'd probably be... Same with, I suppose, Dadrell. If they actually contacted me and said, Oh, do you want to try this? I might then consider it. But, no. You've got a 456 there. Eh? Oh, that one's actually got a nameplate on it. Sir Cosmo Bonza. Who knows? He? Sir Cosmo Bonza. I'm sure it's probably a, most, a very famous guy everybody knows, but I don't know. <laughs> Cheers, Aussie. <coughs> Looks alright in the southern livery, doesn't it? But not as good as NSC. Yeah, I live and breathe uh, Roblox. <laughs> oh, nice, sir, uh, Callum. Dad, rather did SCR, would you join? Well, no, because I don't have SCR. Well, only two coaches. It's the 456. There are only two coaches. 
It's a little weird little unit. It was an Eng English bureau and businessman and a, con a conservative politician who sat in the House of Commons from 1885 to 1900. Alright. Are there any turbo? Yeah, there's turbo stars on Train Sim Classic. Not brilliant though, but there are. Uh, Fair enough, Jonathan. This is Queen's Road, Peckham. So one more station, and the next code will go in. But do we have any PC players here uh, who play Train Sim World 3 who don't have the Brighton Main Line and East Coast Way? I feel like that's going to be a struggle. Is that like everybody has those routes, pretty much? Maybe not. You know, maybe not so much East Coast Way. Well, I think East Coast Way is actually a Train Sim World 2 East Coast Way code. Although when you put it in, it should then unlock it for Train Sim World 3 if you've got Train Sim World 3 in your account. <laughs> That's all good, uh, Adam. Nice, right, mate. And yeah, Adam is actually our new mod. Uh, Adam is. Okay. What's the next part? Uh, next part is Brighton to no London Victoria. It was Brighton, uh, but no, it'll be London Victoria to Brighton. And here we are. Hello, Kieran. I can't remember having a son called Kieran. I mean, I hope I don't have a, a child yet. Um, yeah, I hope not. What about that? Queen's Road Peckham. And yes, what Amanda said. So we've got London Bridge is over there. We're over here now. See the gherkin over there? Oh, we could. Where's, where's it gone? Where did the gherkin disappear? Hang on. There, there it is. There's the gherkin. You are right in first class. You do now, do now, yeah. Do now. Uh, I can just if I download the other some Steam, IP, uh, well, it's the same Steam account, you just get it for free. Cheers, Adam, thanks for coming in, mate. Take care. Ten percent on. What a sale that would be. I'm going to do batting on part. Nice. Have you done that? Oh, you've done that forestry run, haven't you? What's your forestry map like, Pete? People said you did wonders with it. So, yeah, Callum, thanks for coming in, mate. This is the 456, uh, Zade. Cheers, Callum. How long left of the stream? Probably about an hour, probably about an hour and 45 minutes. There's the 455. Yeah, it sure is, Daniel. Pick this one up in their last sale they did. Good, I did. Fair enough, Kieran. <laughs> awesome, uh, Pete. Uh, destinations London, Victoria. I will then be able to hop on the Gatwick Express down to Brighton. Which I'm hoping it won't be a separate stream. Um... I'm hoping it doesn't crash when I try and make it go across to the PlayStation. Which ideally it shouldn't, although sometimes, 10% of the time it does. Nice, Jonathan. Hello, Funfair. You don't, Funfair. It's just many routes put together to do a, a very long journey. So we have come all the way from Hastings to Peckham Rye. But yeah, the next code I think could probably go into the chat, Amanda, for the route. 
How you doing, Callum? They'll be on 20 some while to get up the express. Okay, if anyone is doesn't have the South London network on Train Simulator, get your redeem code bit ready. There's a code coming up. How long till Victoria? Not long. It's only a short hop across. Yeah, I mean Train Sim Classic is an update for Train Simulator. It's just sort of a rebranding, I suppose. Cheers, Ralph. It's nice, isn't it? Nice, Richard. Actually, for the next one, I may be able to do it myself because I put a link for the store page. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yes, Pete. Got a little. Uh, they've got eyebrows as well, eyelids. There we go, there's the next key for the South London network. Uh, I guess so, Jonathan, yeah. Because that's why I probably wasn't doing it. Let it crash, God. Who got it? Oh, there's the 319. I can't remember what that delivery is called, but that one. Our first capital connect delivery, which is lovely. Yeah, that'll be uh, yeah, it'll still be there then. Lovely, you've just got one of those sort of car air vents there. Yeah, good here, Callum. Hey, awesome! Daniel's train's got South London network. And a Fortnite champion. And the next code will be, well, we'll see wherever we are in 10 minutes. Nice one, champion. That is thanks to Dovetail Games. So, yeah, I suppose on the next Rail Fan TV stream, uh, I suppose if Jamie's doing it, which I think will be the next one, uh, just say you've got the code. Or well, thanks for the code. And just, I don't know, Dovetail Games Alex or something. Yeah, but it was a special first Capital Connect one. I can't what the name for it though. Pink, oh, Pinky Perky livery. Lovely. Do I not have Forza Horizon 5? Uh, I don't have it now. It. Here's one of those games I would play, I just don't have it. So the next code will be at. 50. Be, I don't know, would say Wandsworth Road. Well, no, that's not 10 minutes. Batsy Park, Batsy Park's the next one. That'll be the next code. One more code for South London Network. Which is probably one of the most important routes you can own on Train Sim because then you can do all the route merges in London and stuff like that. Let's go. Uh, 20... Mm, that's a good question. Um, I want to say 2014. 2014. Or was it July 2015? I think it might have been late 2014. So, yeah, I wanna, I'm saying... I'll be... September, no, December 2014, possibly. Or September 2014. Although the first Capital Connect brand didn't last it for ages, and then they actually put the Thames Link stickers on. Well, that still was in first Capital Connect livery. Uh, you get the 456 on this add on, and the 378, I think. And then the 455 is a DLC. No, you get quite a few, actually. You get the. 456, 378, and uh, you also get the 375 in southeastern yellow, I think. But well, in a way, here, I suppose. And we go over Liverpool Junction and save the game as well. 
Yeah, it's really hope Streamlabs doesn't die when we try and flick it over to the PlayStation. As ninety percent, well, ten percent of the time it does. Two o'clock on the 13th of September 2014 when the franchise was taken over by Govia. Lovely. Yeah, it's quite because they used to stick stickers over, even though it was clearly First Capital Connect with the livery, they just stuck that little Thameslink sticker over the uh, part of the sign for First Capital Connect. <laughs> and we go over Brixton. It gets a little bit laggy again as it's loading in London, Victoria, and all the trains there, which is tons. I best get the PlayStation on soon, as we'll be over to that. Fair enough, Kieran. Maybe one day. Battersea Power Station, that is sort of the general direction we're going. Well, that's where Battersea Park is over there. So, making our way up to there, just about see it. See, so isn't mine. So, that's Jonathan. Hopefully my future employer, hopefully. Our next stop coming up is in uh, Clapham High Street. Eh? Not bad down. Only small platforms. Glenn does behave, yeah. Glenn behaves, he does behave. It's been about two, almost three hours now since we left Hastings. <laughs> oh no, not Google. GTR. I mean, Google sort of is, to be honest. I mean, Google is obviously YouTube, isn't it? So in a way, it already is. Hello, William. What was that? Uh, I think they used to be here. Not anymore, though. They're really, really rare. Hey, you came in for 11 months. Much appreciated, mate. Let's save the game. Wandsworth Road next. Probably just stay in the cab for now so I don't really want it to crash. And we're off. Yeah, sure we'll be William. Anyway, we're going to get to Eastbourne. There's no Eastbourne on train simulator. Uh, yeah, I mean, be, you would have seen an ad here and beforehand. Well, the things on some actually on monetized channels have had ads, which is weird. So I don't know if YouTube just placed them there anyway. 
Lovely Pete. Well, you're starting at one tonight, or something. Well, it would be on Twenty World, Brighton Main Line, and East Coastway. Two of the great routes there are on there. And BMLs have been the most popular route on Trains and World. I mean, it's got to be, really, isn't it? Wandsworth Road. At least it was of Trains and World 2. And just across there, there'll be Wandsworth Common and Clapham Junction. Uh, no, no, East Coast Rail Train, some classic. Oh, awesome, William. Right, Battersea Park, that's that. Battersea Park, there'll be another code for the South London network. Well, it is now, probably, Glenn, because it's one of the base routes of Train to Mile 3. <laughs> Well, yeah, probably, it probably is now, but when they said it, it was BML. I mean, surely. <laughs> I want to see the stats. Have you missed now yet, Miss Trainson World? I did sort of want it to be half and half. That's what I was sort of expecting. About an hour and 25 from Hastings up to London. Half an hour, so I mean, about two hours of near enough to two hours of train sim uh, classic and the rest of CB in train sim world but that hasn't quite happened what's that noise it's like a big fun sort of thundery sound that's what it is it's the Wessex pig over there it's really bloody loud on this game so I was hoping it doesn't crash fingers crossed it doesn't what if BML got a 700 and a 455? Maybe, uh, Kieran. Oh, that's why right, you got the fun. That's why it's bloody uh, really more laggy than last time. So we've got South West Mainline AI as well. Let's hope it doesn't crash. 455 down there. I wasn't bad, no. The next code will be dropped in the chat here at Battersea Park, if Amanda's there. <laughs> yeah, I think Amanda's still there. I hope they do, Glenn. Sure, I mean, a 700 would literally be a massive cash injection. The 455 probably not as much, but still would be nice to to see. What we got two monitors here. Awesome, uh, Sam. Lovely Davidoff. Why not, Jonathan? <laughs> I thought, why not? 465 over there. Yeah, so the third key for South London Network is about to go into the chat. So if you don't have the South London Network, now's your chance. <laughs> the pizza costume. Right, let's add up the PlayStation. There's the controller. There we go, door shut. It really does feel like it's going to crash. Hopefully not, though. Maybe, Glenn. Do it on like, the East Coast Main Line. Well, actually, probably not East Coast. Well, it could be East Coast Main Line South. Should be Rail Donkey. Must we go, though? Let's load up that. TSW3, I checked earlier and it was there. 
There we go. There's the last code for the South London network. If you do get it, do let us know. Um, but that is courtesy of Dovetail Games. So big thanks to them. What's the four coach one there? That would be nice to do. Oh no, that's six coach. So you got four, five, six, and a four, five, five together. Twenty-three thirty, is it? Wow. Yeah, code just went in the chat. Oh, Rail Donkey got it. Well, that's not the last of the giveaways. We've got, I think, four codes for the Brighton Main Line to give away. Uh, although it is Steam. Um, I suppose they probably had run out of Xbox or PlayStation ones. Because I think with Steam, I guess they probably just generate the keys. As for Sony, I think for consoles, they have to sort of get the keys delivered and all but ordered, then delivered to them. But I suppose on Steam, you probably just generate a key. So. I think, probably. That was with the South London network. Well, they had some spares, so they very kindly sent over to us. Get that on. It is re I really hope it doesn't crash. That would be quite annoying if it does. Right, a main line. What's the time in game now? Uh, it's 10.07. I'm trying to do the similar time then. 10.07, Galk Express. There you go. 10.12. Oh, there's 10.42. Let's go for 10.42, actually. Need to have a little bit of time, I suppose. Uh, there we go. That's what we're going to do next. That's South London Network, that one. Oh, my God, it's so laggy. I can feel a crash coming on. Or well, hopefully not. I'm going to save the game just here. Even though if it did crash, we just could go just get on to train sim world. Because we're pretty much here. There you go, that's all ready. That's oh, easy, dude. Oh, let's see, Gwen. That's when kickoff can happen then. 23 for. I'll probably only have two games and I have to go off. Bit of a shame because tomorrow I'm busy, Tuesday I'm busy, so there'll be no FIFA then until Wednesday probably. So hopefully I can. Well, I'll definitely be a couple tonight, hopefully. Hello, there's Lewis. How long? Probably another hour. Possibly more than that, actually. An hour and 20 minutes, maybe. So we get to Eastbourne. Oh, it's a 460. Things to do, Lewis. Things to do. So if we've done it half, half. I mean, maybe three at a stretch. But it's just, yeah, things we have to do. Alright, well, we probably are a little bit late. Uh, yes, there is. Would I like to put the next one? Oh, I probably could, yeah. Oh, have you checked? Is it 2009? Well, I should be able to do the next one, uh, I reckon, Richard. Quite possibly. Lovely, yeah, Lewis. Okay, this is London, Victoria. And now we're going to go over to the PlayStation. Let's hope the stream doesn't crash when we try and switch over. Or I could just add a screen for the PlayStation, but then that might then not work. Um, so we'll, we'll see. So yeah, so I'll see you all in a second, hopefully, on the PlayStation. Or if it does crash, I'll set up another stream. And then we'll, well, we'll continue on from there. 
to see you hopefully all in a second on the same stream, so hold on. Yes, I think it worked. Yes, it worked. Oh, that's, that's a relief because sometimes it doesn't work and it's just like failed to change. Oh, that was a big relief. Right. Uh, I've still got to set it up actually because um, I thought I'd just flick it over to see if it was if it was fine and it, it is. So um, I've got to plug this in and do that quick. Uh, there we go. Uh, let's see. What else have I got to do? can turn that off now. I don't need that on. Uh, I need to turn on the capture. You're going to see a black screen for a second. Just whilst I activate the capture card. There we go. That's that turned on. So then we get audio. It should be coming up. There we go. Right, there we go. Uh, that should be all set up. Now I've got to hope this works. Oh, uh, right, let's get the doors unlocked. <laughs> uh, I know, I should have really set up another scene within the PC one because it would simply be one click done. Uh, but I didn't think about that. But it's worked, so it's fine. Because we don't switch between the two very often. I can train to run free, yeah. That was very noisy, wasn't it? That 465 there. Oh, right, there we go. We're all good. We can chill out now. And that's about the internet, and that's a bloody crash. Load up the chat on air. So yes, we now have... Uh, I think it's four Train Sim World keys to give away. Uh, no, uh, Train Sim World Brighton Mainline keys to give away. Do we have Amanda still there? Actually, in fact, I should be able to do it myself now. Although you can do it if you want, Amanda. It's up to you. And you get to put the nice little message as well. I can take over if you want. Uh, do that. Uh, do that. Um, this is that. Uh, so we should be fast, pretty much to Brighton. I need to stop at Gatwick Care for. Yeah, you can still do it then, Amanda. So put in a code once we pass East Croydon, I'd say. There's f I think there's four for the BML, so every sort of 15 minutes. Yeah, do one at East Croydon. <laughs> Maybe, uh, Jonathan. Well, let's get the door shut. And to be honest, we're actually going the long way here because we're going to uh, we're going to Brighton and then to Eastbourne. Whereas in real life, you could just go straight down from Wilversfield to Lewis, and you've cut out about half an hour. But no, we're going the long way. I know, Richard, but I was just putting the link in that time. Can I do this every what switch between PC and uh, TS and Trainston World? Or for the codes, I'd run out. Nice, Joseph. That wasn't squad battles, was it? Time is ticking. Time's slipping away from FIFA. Although I will, I will be on. 
for anyone who's wondering, what do you mean for time for FIFA? After this, I'll be doing some uh, pro clubs with uh, Bobby Glenn, Brighton Gamer, and Joseph Adams. Uh, maybe one day with him. Maybe, maybe one day. Uh, I'll probably, I'll probably do another long stream on Train Sim World. Well, when something which really interests me come out. Well, I mean, any British route is really going to interest me. Um, there's some stiff competition there. Um, yeah, uh, probably when. Uh, Oh, that's, epic. that's true, yeah. Uh, when... What was I saying? I can't remember now what I was just saying. Yeah, I can't remember. Uh, this is Yacht Express. Oh, no, yeah. Uh, when, you know, say if a, I know, uh, another southern or southeastern route came out, which was a closed network, so you could just go backwards and forth. That's where when I'd next do a massive stream. You know, when I'm really, really... In, not, you know... Not really interested, but really, really interested. So like the Bright Main Line, it was like, wow, East Coast Way, we did six hours on there or so. Yeah, it would have to be a very good route. Long train routes. Or something like the East Coast Main Line South, just sit in the 700 and go backwards and forth, that would be one. I do a long stream in. Maybe that's be one I'm really interested in to spend that amount of time on it in a row. I mean, Cathcart Circle, we did do eight hours on that. Well, that was sort of the first AC British route, you know, had the 314. Uh, but that one felt like forever because it's uh, like 20 minutes each run. So for eight hours, it was like, wow. But the BML one just flew by, both of them. Right into Hope Show, they're yeah, fun. It'd be nice if they included a COVID timetable. Then everyone would complain that it's too quiet. That's the L Glen. Did your PS4 not blow up? Oh, I probably wouldn't spend eight hours in a row on that with him if it was that. Is the route it would be a route that interests me, but not enough to spend eight hours on it in a row. Live. And off we go. Cool. And we go up to Clapham Junction. Oh, hang on, I know what I haven't done. I haven't plugged in the keyboard. I was just about to do the horn, and I was like, oh yeah, I haven't got that plugged in. Obviously, it wouldn't explode with a COVID-19 timetable. Let me uh, plug that in quick. That's sort of important, eh? That should now be plugged in. Let's move it over there. Thought I'd forgotten something. Oh, yeah, it was the it was the keyboard. There we go. That's better. So that's just like a usual train sim world stream the rest of the way. Apart from the fact we're going to Eastbourne as well. But yeah, this stream was Hastings to Eastbourne. This is the long way. As yes, I know someone will say you could just go on 10 minutes from Hastings to Eastbourne and be done. But that's not in the game. So, But I want to go to Eastbourne. So we're going the long way. We've got to do it. Yeah, well, we've got 92 likes. Awesome. Yeah, can we try and get up to 100? That'd be cool. Also, now we're on here. I can sort of check messages on Discord and stuff. Uh, 
town. Uh, do they do Milton King Central to East Croydon transfer 350? Uh, no. <laughs> you an Eastbourne FC fan, Glenn, as well? Not yet, Zaid, not yet. It's been three hours and 11 minutes. So that hasn't. Well, actually, no, it has felt that long. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. The longest stretch of the journey was definitely the first bit, Hastings to Tombridge. That bit felt very slow. That was since since we passed that, it's gone quite quick. I think the reason for that was it was dark, so it was sort of like well, it didn't really. Well, it was, it was night time, half the half the way, and we were stopping at every single station as well. Lovely, Glen. Hopefully everyone is enjoying the stream. Obviously, yeah, big thanks again for uh, 10,000 subs. Um, that's awesome. Yeah, awesome stuff. I don't know if there'll be as many bits of content this year as there was last year. Uh, so obviously, I finish, uh, finish, not finish, finish uh, college in in June, my fourth year. Uh, so then hopefully after that I'll, I suppose hopefully, try and, uh, oh, well, let's put that down, uh, try and get a, a dispatcher job at my local station, which I was just about to say, that wouldn't have been good, uh, which is on, in this region. Um, so then I'll probably be doing that, although after, well, if I did, if I did get that, which hopefully I do, There'll still be very frequent uh, content. Hopefully, still there'll still be daily videos for sure, and probably a stream every sort of couple of days or so. So there'll still be plenty of content this year as well. Nice, exciting, fresh content. Why don't you do Eastbourne to Victoria? Um, I mean, if you're on about just going straight there to Eastbourne, you can't unfortunately, as the Kima branch isn't modelled. Ah, oh, he's out. And I say, wow, well, it takes a while, doesn't it? The uh, UKTS. Choo choo, is that Gabby? <laughs> How you doing, Gabby? So yeah, the second half of the year there might be a few less. So yeah, hopefully I'll get a, uh, a dispatching job at my uh, local station. So there probably won't then be daily streams, but there'll still be daily videos for sure after that. But that's a long way off, so we don't need to think about that yet. Do East Coast way down to Lewis, so once we get to Brighton, yeah. But that bit isn't modelled though with us filled to Lewis. Coming up on Fords and Heath. If they merge us, that'd be cool. It's much more chilled out now we're on trains and well. Because like, it's just on controller, so I sort of just put the controller down and chill out. Um, and, and we're on the BML, so we're now actually going the right way. We're going south again. And yes, the first code should be going in the chat in a, about five minutes. To, well, not even five minutes, two minutes time. As we are coming up to East Croydon Station. So Amanda, if you would please get the code ready. Uh, which will be for a Brighton Mainline Code or London Commuter Code. Uh, for uh, this game. So this route on Steam. So if you haven't got this route on Steam. Uh, for Train Sim World uh, free. There will be a code coming into the chat fairly soon. So get your thingies ready. This is the Brighton Main Line. Which again is courtesy of Dovetail Games, so very nice of them. 
Yeah, code for this route on this game, but on Steam. Especially I'm playing on the PlayStation 5. Have I ever been to Mount Everest before? Yeah, went right, went up to the top of it. Twice. Fair enough, Connie. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, it went up to the top in about... Yeah, it took me about eight hours, then came back down and went up again. Easy stuff, Sam. I went down to 45. You already have the BMO. Yeah, I know quite a few people already have it. But I'm sure we've got some people watching who don't. What is part five? Well, that will be East Coastway. What part are we on now? Yeah, uh, yeah, the East Coastway. And then we've got some giveaways for East Coastway as well. Look, two 12 coaches passing. Lovely, Sam. Probably not, Davido. Yes, the code can be dropped into the chat if Amanda's there. <laughs> what time is it in the game? It is 10.56. And you got a 3.75 there as well. I did, Gregory, yeah. Uh, there was a little, uh, little flagpole up there and I found them underneath. Also a nice tuna sandwich frozen as well up there. There we go. That is a steam key for the Brighton Main Line uh, on Train to Mod 3 for Steam. You already got it, fun for bloody yeah, that was quick. You just went in. <laughs> well there we go, Funfair got it. Well, when you do next see Dovetail Games Live Funfair, do say thank you. Well I'm sure you know your their social medias and stuff, just say thanks, got the code and etc. Awesome. So the next one will be at probably Gatwick Airport. That's about 15 minutes. So yeah, do thank Dovetail Games when you see them in. Or when you're in the, one of their streams. Hey, Paul. How you doing, mate? Cheers. What are you up to, Paul? I'm guessing you're out in the garden again. Having a nice cup of tea or coffee. Enjoying the nice morning sun. <laughs> How you doing, Paul? We are doing Hastings to Eastbourne, Paul. You should probably be like, hang on, that's like 10 miles apart. You know, it's like a 10 minute, well, 15 minute jet, but a bit, actually, it's a bit more than that. Uh, but no, we're going the long way. You know, I want to go to, I want to go to the beach at Eastbourne. I want to go on Eastbourne Pier. But on train to, on train to, we can't get between Hastings and Eastbourne without going via London. So that's what we've, that's what we've done. It's taken us three hours and 20 minutes so far. Let's just have a look. How far? What is the distance between Hastings and Eastbourne? Let's have a look. Between Hastings, well, it's probably, it would be a bit more than ten. It's probably like fifteen or twenty. Let's have a look. Uh, Hastings. I have to do it by road because it actually comes over distance. But uh, it's twenty miles. Yeah, so we could have just gone twenty miles. Hastings to Eastbourne. Done. But it's not on train sim or train sim well. So we've gone the wrong way. I'll say, I mean, we're 10k, fellow ambassador. Um, train simulator driver. Check his channel out. And then Pete's done the same as well. I didn't even see that, Pete, but yes, Pete's done it as well. Um, but yes, do check out train simulator driver's channel. If you haven't, what's going on? <laughs> uh, Paul is very much more technical, and he does a lot of steamies, lots of steam trains. Yes, he's he's way more on the technical side. Oh no, yeah, done that as well, Connie. That was exhausting too. Yeah, done that once. Overly expensive. And also, if you're struggling with trains, and well, Paul does uh, tons and 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 tons of tutorials. Let's go into a great level of detail. Uh, 
uh, just had a long phone call with a controller. They asked him to do a control on Newton Abbott in t uh, two weeks, but he said no. Um, oh, I see. Oh, not good. Might be a staff shortage, maybe. <laughs> oh, yeah. It is very nice of them, fun fair. I mean, Alex um, sent a message just saying, how can we sort of help you celebrate 10k? And I was like, oh, is there any sort of keys we can give away? So I thought the codes were going on. Um, well, the codes were going on, the, the routes were going on. We might as well um, get some codes for that. So if you enjoy watching the route, you can then get the route. Okay, a bit lovely, yeah, train to my pole. Lovely fear. See those jet bloody boring main line, unbelievable. Yeah, so the next code for the this route will be going into the chat. It's a steam code. Uh, that will be at Gatwick Airport. So if you know where that is, you know how far it is. Or how far off in, in it is. Oh, I see for you. But can't you do that from Tor Torquay? Just can't you just do the paperwork there and then send it over or something? Depends if it's online, I suppose. Well, I suppose it's probably not as ideal, is it? Doing it online. As for two, the Marsh Link and the rest of the East Coast, so that'll be cool. Marsh Link, can't see happening. East, uh, an extension to the East Coastway. Uh, I can't really see it happening. I mean, it would be fantastic to see an extension to East Coastway. Just the age of the route. I mean, the route is uh, 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 what year? Twenty nineteen. Two years out. No, oh, three years out. I mean, it would be fantastic. I just can't see it happening though. I don't know if it would pull in many sales. I don't know how to get it because it's you know it's the east east coast way. I suppose dovetail sort of got to think sort of finance wise as well. I mean east coast way extension probably won't be a big big thing. I mean fantastic, but that's only because you know, it's my sort of area. <laughs> West coast way that'd be cool. But I suppose, once TSW does get editing tools, which again is probably quite a long way off, uh, although they have got a survey going if it's not ended yet, so do do uh, it's, uh, do have a look at that. Um, yeah, maybe then we can see it extended, but I doubt it. It's just an old route now. Fair enough here. Oh, I'll see. Check the green river buses need to be in there in case of breakdown of problems. Theo, yeah, do some spying on drivers. Who, who, who's where? I suppose it's a Sunday, so I guess there's probably no buses out, is there? Seems on that Lincolnshire map, there's no no buses run on a Sunday. I tried doing that earlier, and it was like, eh, nope, not doing it. Fair enough here. Cool. Yeah, that'll be cool. Um, uh, Paul, yeah. A bit like on train sim where you can just do a lot more with scenarios, you know, exact place where to spawn bits in. and Yeah, that'll be cool. Sort of set destinations for trains, etc. When are they going to do another long DLC? Another long DLC? What, in time wise or mileage? How long left of this service? We're about 40 minutes. Uh, shouldn't be good, Greeno. 
Yeah, but the thing is with Castle Wurzburg is it's a high speed route. So there's what three stations, and they said you know something like the Bakerloo that took as long as uh, you know uh, I can't remember what the example was, but the Bakerloo that took took ages to do because there's so many stations to model. Whereas with the high speed route, well, it's three stations. And they're not that big, big stations really, are they? So they can sort of, you know, focus on more getting the trackage done, probably a bit of auto placement as well. As it's a high speed route, you're passing by at 155 miles an hour. The scenery doesn't have to be spot on because you won't really see it <laughs> flying past at that speed. Uh, so the next sort of long route, I don't know. Probably another German high speed run or something. Although hopefully maybe an LGV. An LGV would be cool. Another one of them. And talking about DLC, hopefully this route does see something at some point. Um, so much would be amazing to see is obviously the 700. Although I don't think they'd do a 700 for this route specifically. I think if they did a 700, they would do it for southeastern high speed because then, uh, you know, everyone could have it, it would be fine. Uh, and then they could also then only do layers for next gen and PC on this route. Because imagine last gen having a 700 on on this route, it just, it's, it it'll blow up, blow up the console. So I think it'll be a bit like Munich to Augsburg, where only next gen and PC have the layers from other routes and other trains. Oh, I say, don't want to on time is lovely, <laughs> very nice. That'll be cool, the Riviera line. Uh, yeah. So that would be cool, 700, but I think they would do it for southeast and higher speed. Also because that's a train to my free route. I think that probably would be one of the top selling DLCs of the game. For sort of UK, the UK audience. <laughs> uh, I have mine vertical, mine's vertical. Awesome Davidoff. The Riviera line in the 50s. I'd love to see that. Modern day one would still be good, but one in the 50s would be cool as well. But I think, yeah, if any train came to this route, I think it would be the 700 we'd see on here. Oh, I see, yeah, Theo. I think the 455, I can't see that happening for quite a while. Well, a 455 would be fantastic. And I suppose that wouldn't add really any new services. It would just substitute on for the uh, South London services. So, so that would probably be the easiest one to do for this route, I suppose. Should have all of the audio. Well, AP have got the uh, a 455 pack, haven't they? So just buy the sounds off them. That's the sounds done. And it's just a model, which only retired recently. So there'll be... Tons and tons and tons and tons of uh, reference material. That'd be cool, uh, Jonathan. If it was the PDL, though, it'd be the 450 and the 444. They're the two main workhorses of it. Maybe then a 455 as uh, DLC for it. Or a reskin of the southern one if they did the southern one beforehand. Nice, Karen. Riviera in the late 80s, very early 90s. Fair enough. Well, that's future DLC talked about. What's next? <laughs> that would be cool. Or we can continue talking about future DLC. Or what we sort of hope to see in future. It's always a good conversation. And we'll see, Theo. Actually, now someone did mention if something uh, uh, would we ever do a long stream on this game again? Yes, and that would be if the 700 uh, came out. We do a long stream on it. I 
Oh, do they not, Paul? Yeah. And I can say, yeah, that's AP source already, yeah. Yeah, it's just a little bit of time to do. The thing is, the 700, if it came to Train Sim World, it could not be like the Train Sim Classic one, sound wise. As the community would go absolutely ballistic. Even I'd be quite unhappy because the 700, I go on it so. I go on it all the time. I had them above my head all yesterday. <laughs> So the 700, it would have to be spot on. I mean, you know, not like spot, spot on, but, you know, 90% spot on. Oh, and Amanda, it is key number two. If you would, please. See you, Theo. Thanks for coming in, mate. Take care. That'd be cool, Kieran. Uh, when I was growing up to play a game like this on console, was unthinkable. Also, you think uh, you've now got your Xbox One controller work. Hey, awesome. That's good then, mate. Awesome. Yeah, you don't really use controller on there. Oh, I mean, uh, keyboard on there. Cheers for you, mate. And uh, have a lovely time. Was it Newton Abbott, isn't it? So, I suppose, try to enjoy it. Right, let's get the door shut. Yeah, I should... That'll get done now. Right, let's go. Let's go. I don't know what happened with the 700, really. Uh, I mean, the modelling was fantastic. Uh, hey, there we go. Uh, that is the next Brighton mainline kit. Obviously, that is courtesy of Dovetail Games, so do give them a thanks, and if you do get it, obviously, do let us know. And when the next on their Rail Fan TV, do say thank you. Yeah, the 700 on Train Sim Classic. I don't really know what happened with it, really, because, yeah, the modelling was superb. But the sounds, well, they were based off of the, um, well, they were like the old 10, 12-year-old Desiro sounds. Yeah, that's one of the things of this route, Omar, the rush hour passenger. I don't think they've actually been added yet, post like, completely. Uh, but that is sort of on the, I think that's still on the roadmap, I think, so at some point. It's a bit because I was chatting to Jamie when we were at, when they had the King's Cross thing on. Um, about the Flying Scot, because I think the Flying Scotsman has the wrong whistle or something like that, which I don't really mind because I don't know it. Uh, but Jamie was, he was, he seemed quite annoyed that they weren't able to go out and get the uh, the sounds, the the new whistle for it or something. So I suppose maybe it's the higher ups, maybe or something. I don't know. That's the Omar. Got the big bosses. Uh, 700 came out in. I think it was. Fe yeah, February. February. So that, that the, the last lockdown was. When was the last lockdown? I think it was spring 2021. Uh, so no, the last one. No, it was. Yeah. It would have been out of. COVID. But the thing is, Paul, the 700 runs past Dovetail Games is HQ. It goes Raynham to Luton. I just don't know what happened. It's one of those DLCs, even though I'm an ambassador, I, I will criticise quite heavily the uh, Train Sim Classic 700. Because I just don't know how it went wrong. Because it's right outside the base. But oh well, there's enhancement packs for it now. Uh, it's class 717 coming to train somewhere free. Nothing on the roadmap. <laughs> Via channel, yeah. Uh, and yes, the next key will be going in the chat once we get to Haywood Heath. This is Three Bridges, where I was for 12 hours yesterday. Stood at the gate line telling people to, well, pretty much don't go to London unless you're going to be coming back to, uh, not coming back today, or yesterday. Uh, 
I see he's aid. Is that the uh, pull? I mean, even Dovetail, they're fine with it, aren't they? Obviously, JD said, be honest when it comes to, um, you know, saying about reviews and stuff like that. He just said, be honest. Which is good, because obviously, some developers, they'd be like, right, pos positive only, no negative, you're negative, well, you're not getting stuff. So, I like the way Dovetail sort of, yeah, let you speak your mind, I suppose. A bit like, was it top funny moments in our server? He's quite critical of certain bits and well they get recorded and noted down and hopefully further down the line will be sorted. It's a nice and open, which is good. That's how game developers should be. Hello again NG, how are you? But I, I like Dovetail. Dovetail cool. <laughs> Fair enough, Paul. Dovetail and TML, favourite developers. TML, see for the bus and you know, firm bus, tourist bus, and dovetail for the train stuff. Let's get that up. And OMSI developers obviously don't count because, well, Mr. Software doesn't do anything anymore. What about you, Paul? Are you into your buses much? As I, as I mentioned in the chat yesterday, obviously, most sort of train enthusiasts are sort of interested in other transport as well, you know, planes, buses, boats, I guess, possibly. So, are you into other things, transport wise? Fair enough, NG. Yeah, I'm all good. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's Thursday, the roadmap. It is a good pull. Right, get up to 90. Yeah, TML did well to subways a long time ago and obviously now do the bus and firm bus and tourist bus although I think tourist bus is pretty much done now uh, I think firm bus still gets updates but the bus well, the PC versions and I think tourist bus is actually going to Unreal Engine 5 at some point so that's the next update for that I think but DLC wise Fair enough, uh, Paul. <laughs> I'm guessing that's what you do for work then. Fair systems and stuff. If so, do you know the ticketer or the wayfarer? Well, I suppose they're probably. Well, no, that's Australia, isn't it? So probably be probably the same ticketing systems, especially Ticketer, which is one of the bus um, bus uh, ticket selling systems. When's the next code? Hayward Teeth. Remember, it's a Steam key for this route. So yeah, very nice of Dovetail. How come Firm Bus doesn't come to PlayStation 5? Well, it's going to be very good news for you, uh, Zade. It is. In about a month and a half. 27th of February, Firm Bus comes to console. And also Tram Sim, that's going to be coming to console. Uh, so that'll be good, as I wasn't really a big fan of it on the PC. Um, but as it's coming to console, it's sort of reignite my sort of like, oh, we need to try it, we need to play it. So. Uh, we'll do a tram sim when it comes to console. I don't know if it's tram sim Vienna or Munich. I haven't figured it out. <laughs> awesome, uh, Paul. Awesome stuff. Uh, we'll come up to Hayward Seed for now. So, Amanda, if you are there, pretty much any time now, feel free to pop it in the chat. 
which will be code number three for this route. Hello, Jason. I'm all right. How are you? <laughs> Bloody place. And this is Hayward Safe. Let's get a flyby shot. How dare I not get one? Probably gonna be a bit late to get it through Hayward Safe as the train is actually right behind us, but we can try it. There you go. Lovely. If Amanda is there. Wait, I think she is. <laughs> If not, I've got them at the ready. Yeah, to you too, Jason. Happy New Year. Yeah, good Christmas. Oh, I think Amanda might not be there. I'm not sure. Did she say she was going? I can't remember now. She might have actually said she was going to do something. But I've got them here, so I can pop them in the chat if, uh, if need be. Sorry, Jonathan. You ready? I'll give it till Burgess Hill, <laughs> and then I'll then I'll pop it in. I'll get it ready to be popped in. So I think I'm gonna mark that she was going, possibly to do something. Let me get that up. Uh, there we go. Uh, where is it? Uh, there it is. There. Yeah, then we got three codes for East Coastway uh, as well. Fair enough, Kieran. That's a possibility, Davidoff. Well, I think she did say she was going. Probably, Paul. Probably. Hey, awesome, uh, Jason. Oh, there we go. There, Amanda is there. There we go. That with us as well. Cool. Well, there we go. There's the third key for this route on Steam. If you do get it, do let me know. There's only 35 people in now, so there's a very good chance. And especially as probably most people do have this route already. Hey, Quebec. Cheers, mate. How you doing, Quebec? I mean, it's coastway. I've done that from the passenger view before. That's fun doing it that, doing it like that, sort of getting the camera in the passenger area and just driving it from there. So we've got about, I'd say, 45 minutes left. About 10 minutes to Brighton. Um, and yeah, probably at Brighton will be the next code for Brighton Mainline. Got the downs ahead of us. Now I've got to go and have a nice shower, a cup of tea, and then, well, <laughs> I suppose try and fit in a couple of games of pro clubs. Which obviously it won't be on stream. Fair enough, Paul. <laughs> Fair enough, Kieran. I would really like to see a guard. I think on the uh, survey I put guard mode at first, I think. I put, yeah, it was guard mode at first, train to mode editor at second, I think the third was multiplayer. Or was it? No, Sam, it was along those lines. This is Hassocks. Shouldn't be any delays. <laughs> Roblox. <laughs> uh, maybe, uh, Jason. Well, yeah, the 
HST livery designer. Uh, no idea, I suppose that should, probably should be soon. Same with the 20 livery designer. Probably find out in the update on Thursday. See you in a bit, Kip. Thanks for coming in, mate. Hey, there's Dan. How you doing, Dan? Cheers, mate. I'll be on the club soon. Leisure and ready for service. Well, in about 40 minutes. <laughs> will the shower and tea be on stream? Uh, no. Actually, the shower will be on our other stream site. Which, if you know, you know. They are still on the way. Yeah, sure is eight. And the one five eight, Jason. Uh, I could see it happening. No idea when, but certainly something. Probably fair. I mean, the one five eight's on tons of lines. Oh, you can just put it in the chat there, quick. Okay. <laughs> Four sixty for the BML. That'd be cool. But it's been three hours and forty-seven minutes since we left. Uh, uh, Hastings. So we've done quite a few trains today. We've done the Class 411, which is arguably one of the best trains on Train Sim Classic. Uh, we've done the 375, the 456, the 387, and we'll do the 377 after this. Oh, you didn't have to put it in the chat, Kira, and everyone knows. Well, that's a good thing. My subscriptions on there will go up. <laughs> I appreciate any fans that subscribe by Tuffertail Games, of course. Uh, don't I? Kind of on Patcham Tunnel. But yeah, for East Coast World, we'll make sure not to do one that stops at bloody Molescombe. I can't be bothered to stop at Molescombe. Molescombe, Molescombe. I go straight to Falmer, then Lewis. Because if you stop at Molescombe, you then stop at Glind, Berwick, Polegate, Hamden. You're the slow one. But if you don't, you shave off a couple of stations. That's a bit faster. Oh, bloody hell. Have we got 99 likes? Hello, Rail State of Georgia. How are you? <laughs> bloody hell. <laughs> the other BML. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, uh, yeah, there you go, 100 plus now, awesome. Uh, coming up on Preston Park, and it will just be Brighton to Eastbourne, which isn't really far, it's 35 minutes, and that's it. How do you put the code in? Well, it's copy and paste, I suppose. Amanda's been doing it. Nice, uh, quick okay. Uh, well, a few of them do, but for the most part, three out of the ten thousand probably do. I have met, well, not directly, but I've seen them right next to me. Uh, BT Photography, and this was at the Dovetail event, and Arsenal Fan TV. I've seen them in real life. No, I've also no, I've also seen Adam, the the mod, new mod, uh, Adam Sayers. I've seen him in real life, unexpectedly, just got on the same train in the same coach, um, which we'll know as Train Man on the Discord server. That's free, so 
Seven, people want to know. Eight, nine. And they're obviously rest of friends who are obviously subscribed who, who, who know. So yeah, probably probably about ten ten people. I oh, know no someone else saw me. Someone else saw someone saw me at Brighton working. I can't remember their name. Uh so I'll say I'll say about maybe ten people have seen me from the channel in real life. With about five of them being friends. Lovely, yeah, uh, Kieran. Oh, I see. Although, if Dovetail are back down in the south, well, they're not in the south, but next time they do an event in the south, I'll probably end up trying to go to it. So, you might see me there. Oh, I don't know, Dan. Have I seen Amanda before? Uh, I don't think I have, no. I don't think I have. I can't find this famous. I've met Jamie in real life, Dovetail Games Jamie. Oh, we sort of six minutes until we do there. No, I've seen Dovetail Games Jamie, Dovetail Games Cat, and. Uh, Rel. Uh, no, was it Rel? Isn't it Rel Fan? Oh, I can't remember what the thing is now. Rel Fan Joe or something. Is it Rel Fan? No, not the other company who did the stream or event back in COVID time. I don't know. Oh yeah, might as well, Amanda, if you want to put the next code in the chat, just was with Sarah at the red. That'd be awesome. There'll be a Brighton mainline code quick over PC. Oh, there goes our train. It's going off. It's leaving without us. Yeah, that's near enough, Paul. Near enough. Yeah, it was, we were waiting to que queuing up to play train sim. Out of all the bloody things you could do in London, we went to London to queue up to play train sim. Um, <laughs> obviously, dubbed up games. And Jamie sort of was like pointing at me, and I was like, I know you. And he walked, came over, and yeah, it was awesome. So just the sort of little certificates Dovetail had from, uh, from, uh, from I think like the chief at, or the manager at King's Cross, something like that. Uh, it was quite cool. Yeah, it counts quicker. Wow, we're taking waiting ages here. <sighs> waiting for that, mate. Shouldn't be long. Yeah, if we can have the last code in the chat, that would be awesome. What's the kind of road ra rail rage? There we go. That's what we're waiting for. That's the culprit. NG's got it. <laughs> there you go. Platform three. Ooh, platform three. Let's go. Wooden Trans Pennine route for Train Sim World. I don't think they do it. I mean, they only get the license in for Trans Pennine Express on um, the Huddersfield line, did they? The Huddersfield line is a modern Northern Trans Pennine. So I doubt you'd see it on. Well, I mean, you might just see it unbranded, but I don't know. Train Rage. No, it's the code for the Train Sim World version. A friend of mine works at the MNS at Brighton station. He has spoken to you, has he? <laughs> when was that? I don't know when I've been in. Have I been in MNS there? Or maybe it was outside, maybe. Uh, oh, cool. 
There you go, there is the last steam key for the Brighton main line. There we go. Let's see if we can dovetail games. <laughs> oh, did it? Oh dear. Actually, as we are Brighton, if you haven't seen it already, we had, did do a SimSig video this morning at Brighton. So if you're interested in the signalling side of things at Brighton, then uh, do have a look. And it's a free game as well, SimSig, and Brighton is free on it. It's a nice little game, if you know what you're doing. Oh, probably then, Ricky. Yeah, probably. If it was a football day, yeah, probably. Oh, it was off. Uh, that wasn't on the whole time. That wasn't, was it? Um. And there we go. That is Brian. Oh, that's Jonathan. Uh, that's not in the game, Kieran. I mean, yeah, Joe Burr just to save East Coastways timetable. Be the saviour. Right, hopefully it does end. It should end at 37. That's what we're, when we're due here. Where is MS at Brighton Station? It's here, isn't it? It's, yeah, MS is there on the right hand side at Brighton. Then you've got like a pasty shop. Now, that there is like a coffee place. And you've got, yeah, a past, Cornish pasty place there. Uh, what's that one on the corner there? It used to be Bagelman, but I think it's now... Fair enough, uh, Paul. Yeah, you got you used to have Bagelman now, but I think that's a Pret now. Yeah, I think that's a Pret. Next door to that... I can't remember what you've got, that one. Even I go past it when I'm at Brian, which is quite a lot. And you've got toilets, which are just there. Then you've got the travel centre over there, if you can see the little cursor. Yeah, the toilets are sort of where that door is there. You used to have to pay bloody 20 pence to go to the toilets here. But not anymore. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Did anyone get the last code for the BML? And then actually right here you've got a spiral staircase which goes up to the sort of train drivers, the staff area. None of that there. It's not there in real life. Right, it should have ended, Brian. What's going on? This one says to shut the doors. I shut the doors, maybe. If not, we've done this one before, so it doesn't really matter. There we go. Uh, main menu. Right, actually, I'll see you in a second, so you don't have to see me on the main menu. So hold on a sec. There you go, we're now on the 377 on the East Coast Way. So the third Electro Star of the stream. Tell you what I like my Electro Stars. So to that, as well. uh, we shall do that. Get that on. So much louder this one. Do that, do that. And that. Yeah, who actually got the last code for the BML? Who got it? Uh, let's get the doors unlocked. If no one says who's got it, that is unfortunate. BTP? You're not on about this hut here, are you? This hut, I've been in this hut quite a few times. It's the on-track hut. And also where they store posters and stuff's in this hut. 
And this is a little ticket office, which I don't know why there's ticket machines there. There's like a little window there, which I've never seen open. It's for sort of if you haven't brought a ticket, you have to come over here and buy one. Then you can go through the gates. <laughs> you know, three one three over there. Lovely. Someone quiet got it. Maybe they might not. Maybe they watch, but maybe they don't have a channel. But if you've got Discord, they ping me on there. So you got it. Oh, you got it, did you click okay? Or are you just saying, put, put your hand up if you got it? Right, that's what we're ready to go. Next station stop will be Falmer. Or as the Northerners say it, Fulmer. Which is like, when they say, I've uh, been to... Because I was uh, at, uh, at Lewis when the uh, Newcastle game was... Uh, Newcastle game was, was on. That's all they were all coming down through Lewis and asking me, is this the train to Fulmer? And I was like, yep, yeah, it's the train to Fulmer. It's funny. Another another funny one is Wivelsfield. My people call it Wivelsfield. Uh, another one is Crawley. People call it Crowley. Uh, it's funny. What's another funny one I've heard? That's uh, another funny one I've heard. I've definitely had more funny ones. You got the code? Awesome. That's all good, just mate. Well, awesome stuff, mate. Now you've been around here for a while. Oh, just got the third one. How is it? Well, maybe the person who doesn't have a, an account, maybe. But congrats to whoever did get it. Uh, we've given away three South London network keys, four Brighton mainline keys, and we've got three East Coastway keys to go. Well, the East Coastway ones, I think, are for Train Sim World 2. Alright, Jonathan. Uh, although, once you, if you redeem it, it should just transfer over to Train Sim World 3. Well, if you've got Train to Mod 2, then, well, you get East Coastway for that. <laughs> Raiding. <laughs> and you've got London Road. I've, I've worked here before. My second shift. It was a nice one, actually. I had a dog on the line. Uh, that was sort of the only exciting... Well, not exciting, but well, it, was, it was a bit of action. Don't worry, no train. The train stopped, so it was it, actually that was like the that was like oh no, that, that's no. Hang on, let me let me think of my words. Uh, so it's tired. Tired. Yeah, I remember I was sitting. Well, not sitting. I was sort of. Well, no one was there, so I'm sitting down. Uh, on on the bench. Uh, so it was about what was it eight in the morning, and it was uh, well the station was shut. No trains were stopping. No, no trains were stopping. No, trains were stopping, but it was just really quiet. Um, probably quicker. Um, and the uh, there was a fast train coming through, which is only going, what, 30 miles an hour? Um, but the train, uh, it was a 377, and it was going through Ditchlin Road Tunnel. And then I just heard like the train come to a, you know, a sort of, I mean, really quietly just come to a stop. You know, f I, you could tell it was full brakes coming to a stop, though. Um, and yeah, then I sort of sh shuffled over, sort of quite, sort of, you know, like, should I go over or should I sort of stay here? So I sort of quietly went over just to sort of pretend I was sort of looking at something else. Because uh, I thought, oh, maybe the driver, I don't know, I don't know, but yeah, the train stops. Which is a bit weird because well, there's nothing really there. Uh, but yeah, the driver stops and I sort of shuffled over quite slowly, like, oh my god, have I done something? Uh, and then the driver just opened the cab window and he was like, there's a dog on the line. So I silly said, have you, said, you know, contacted the signal saying there's a dog on the line, even though he would have, because he's trained to do that. And he was like, can you just go and check to see if it's still there? So I ran over, I remember the, my laces were untied, because my bloody 
but they were untied. Well, not untied, but like loose. So I was running up the platform. Uh, yeah, I went right, sort of crouched down, see if the dog was under the train, which it wasn't, which was good. Um, um, and then, yeah, then the OBS opened the window, which was sort of the halfway, because it was an eight coach, and said, can you see it there? And I was like, nope, it's gone. Um, and then, no, then, then I think the, the dog went back through the tunnel, but on the opposite track, so the train was sort of clear. Um, so I sort of, you know, tried to make engaging noises to try and make the dog jump up uh, onto the platform. Which, I, I'm, a, I'm a cat person. If it was a cat, it would have been easy getting them up. But as a dog, I was, you know, I don't know what noises I was making, just trying to get the dog uh, to get up onto the platform. Because I, I can't go on the track, because, well, I'd be not allowed to. I'd get fired if I went on the track. It'd be a very silly thing to do. Here we are anyway, let's uh, probably, probably step free and now it should be alright. And then the dog turned around went back up through the tunnel. See you Sam, thanks for coming in mate. Yeah, so good to see you Josh. Uh, what, what was I saying? Oh yeah, then the dog went back through the tunnel um, and that was about it really. Uh, and then it got spotted slightly later in the day, sort of wandering between London Road and Molescombe. And then like the track guy came, the network rail turned up to try and you know, get it off the line. And apparently they had no luck. Uh, so yeah, I think the dog escaped. Uh, yeah, it, it obviously went probably back out uh, the way it came in, in the end. And that was that. And then, and then the owners turned up. I hope they did find. That. Hopefully they did find it in the end. But yeah, the owners turned up with posters just saying, "Have you seen the dog?" And we were like, "Yeah, we, we saw it. It was right on the track." Um, so yeah, I don't know if they did find it. I mean, Brighton obviously is quite a big place. Um, yeah, I'd hope they did. It would have been anywhere between London Road and Molescombe, which isn't really a big, big distance. Yeah, hopefully they did find it in the end. And it's Lewis next. I've worked at Falmer as well before. See you, Paul. Hopefully the cat's alright. I like my cat, so hopefully it's alright. Yeah, I've worked at Falmer before. That was when they had that silly festival on something in Falmer Park. No, not Falmer Park, in Stanmer Park. Some sort of university, you know, everyone get drunk sort of festival. That was actually right. It was quite a good shift, actually. So sort of making sure no one fell onto the tracks and stuff. That was alright. Evening one as well. Cheers, Dean. Much appreciated, mate. The Gatwick Airport is on the right main line. Even Mickey, how are you as well? Four hours and nine minutes now. So it's taken us four hours and nine minutes to do a journey which is about 20 miles. But we've gone the long way. Fair enough, uh, Kieran. Nice refreshing shower after this, make myself a nice cup of tea, and then play probably two games of, two, three games of uh, FIFA on Pro Clubs with my friends. We did a longer stream on Transport Fever too. Yeah, we did a long one on there. The scariest experience I've had at work. Not really many uh, sort of, uh, of them so far. Uh. See, not really. I haven't really said there's any sort of scary ones, uh, Dean. Yeah, not really. I mean, you get the usual abuse, but that's not scary. That's funny. Uh, oh, that is funny. When people call you names and stuff, because they're they're annoyed. So fair enough. 
something called the C word, someone's trying to get cancer. Lots of uh, funny things. Obviously, they're not funny things, but uh, funny when they're angry and they call you the things. Ha handful, handful, there you go, handful. Do you want to join my message? I'll oh, pin my message. What was your message? It is, yeah, it's just that I got. Oh, yes, I didn't do that, did I? Silly me. Let me remove that. Uh, I shall do that, actually. Oh, and we're going by London, Victoria. Well, we're not anymore, I suppose. Oh, bloody hell. Uh. Oh. Oh, that's good then. Uh, can't it? So. <laughs> Lovely NG. Hand foof. Yeah. Oh, I'll pin it anyway, David. There you go. Have, have a pin. Have a bit of fame on there. But this is the last part, this one now. Lovely quick, eh? Is Lewis the busiest station on the East Coast way? Well, it'll probably be Brighton. That's, I suppose, on the, the start of the East Coast way, isn't it? Same for the Brighton Main Line and the West Coast Way. The second busiest, yeah. Well, actually, no, probably Eastbourne. I don't know, Eastbourne's a busy one as well. Eastbourne and Lewis are probably quite similar sort of passenger numbers, I'd say. You could have a look on Wikipedia. Let's have a look, actually. I'd imagine they're probably quite similar, though, Lewis and Eastbourne. They've got two ways you can go. Well, not really. There's, Eastbourne's really just the same way, but... Let's have a look. Uh, Eastbourne... Oh, should have Eastbourne Railway Station, really. Eastbourne. Uh, oh, bloody East, uh, Eastbourne Railway Station. There it is. Let's have a look. Uh, let's see, 2021, 2.696 million. So 2.7 million, we'll say. And Lewis got... I'm oh gonna forget that. 2.7 million. And Lewis got. Oh, actually, ooh. Oh, Eastbourne actually is on top. Uh, Eastbourne. Uh, Lewis got 1.9 million. So Eastbourne is the more popular one. I thought that would be very similar. Hello, Michael. How are you? <laughs> Former. Fair enough. That's the rail tour that should be there. Uh, I know I'm not a mod, but I thought it'd be a very. That's all good, David off, mate. This is the East Coast way, Mickey. That's true, there, uh, Kieran. Hello, Nathan. After this, we've got Berwick, Polgate, Hamden Park, oh, Hamden Minest up there. We've got Berwick next, so we can skip out blind. Yeah, this is Lewis. There's the rail tour there of a shed on the front. Boring, should be a four wheel or something. I don't know, Nathan, you tell me. I don't mind, I just find it funny. <laughs> Fair enough, Kieran, it does yet. Not a special anymore. That'll be cool, okay? Uh, 
Uh, yes, there will be another key. Uh, so it's probably... Have we done an East Coastway key yet? I don't we have done an East Coastway key, so Amanda, <laughs> if you can, would you please? Could we have an East Coastway key in the chat? Remember, it is a Steam. Steam East Coastway key. And Alex has put Train Sim World 2 East Coastway. Although it should still work. If you've got Train Sim World 3, it'll just transfer on to Train Sim World 3, it should. Although maybe that's just because Train Sim World 2, maybe East Coast. I don't know, but yeah. Um, it should work either way. I don't know, Nathan. You tell me. If you, if you think it's going to come. Maybe double off, maybe. <laughs> Here we got three uh, keys. Dan. Fair enough. Yeah, it was cool because it used to be eight coaches, but not anymore. But you would, if you had the London ones, you'd have eight, eight coaches. Probably not Nathan. Somewhere there would be Tees Valley. No, I think we did these. Would, no, it probably would have been Tees Valley in the 101. Last time we did that. Right, I'll give Amanda until Berwick. And if not, she probably has fallen asleep. Probably Connie, yeah, it's nice the 101. Something a little bit different. Uh, yep, now what? No, well, the Brighton ones, uh, no, the Brighton ones, Brighton to Eastbourne, uh, are actually quite a lot of the time, eight coaches. Well, they're, they're, sometimes they're eight, sometimes they're four. I don't know if I, I didn't uh, Dan, no, unfortunately. Come up to Glind. It does now, yeah, and it does seafood services for the rest of the evening. It's a good one, that one. Yeah, I feel like there'll be more people waiting for East Coastway because I feel like that's a route not as many people have. It's a bit older, a bit less popular as well. That was Glind. <laughs> Must be Dan. This rate, Joe, right there? Oh, that's yeah, no way. Yeah, there, there was comments there on Train to Mod Noah. Well, they're not as much now but yeah uh, near enough as common but yeah not as much I think in December a couple of them sort of taken off diagrams I think more than a couple or they're less, less uh, slightly less common now but still very common <laughs> lovely 
I don't know where Nathan, probably Roblox and I don't know, Five Circle on there, there's Five Circle on there. But yeah, I better record put in an East Coast Waco, I think the man probably has fallen asleep, so I'll put one in then. Nice quick, eh? Hey, two pound from Davidoff. Keep working on the Great job. Much appreciated, Davidoff. And Davidoff does have his... Uh, uh, his own channel. So feel free to check him out. Simulation stuff. Yeah, probably, Dan. <laughs> you probably do know it. Yeah, you probably do know it. Uh, yeah, no. Yeah. Take that if you've been in the cards yet. That's another one. What have we not had yet? Uh, what have we not had? Oh, we haven't had GCR, which is another one on Roblox. We haven't had that one yet. That hasn't been mentioned tonight. Can Nathan do that one for us? <laughs> They're not too far to Beric. I think it's normal tomorrow, I think. I believe it's normal tomorrow. on that game. Step two breaks. <laughs> There's GCL. I'll mention that. Uh, oh, I don't know, uh, Noah. Never really been on the uh, Seaford train at rush hour. I can't imagine it's too busy, because from Seaford you can get a bus to Brighton, which I think takes around the same time. And that takes you, well, into more areas of Brighton. Uh, probably between Brighton and Lewis it's probably, you know, busy. Um, but probably after that it'll be quiet, quiet, quiet and quite a bit. As yeah, there's tons and tons of buses going between uh, Brighton and New Haven, and then Couple will go to Seaford. So I suppose most people probably just end up taking that. It's about probably actually slightly quicker actually. It doesn't go up to Lewis then back down. Yeah, no, yeah. Anyway, this is Berwick. And I'll put a code in for East Coastway. I think Amanda probably has gone off or fallen asleep. Oh, I see you down. Usually it's the dash six and sevens on there. Right, East Coastway. Let's get the first one. Right, code for East Coastway. So if you get it, let me know. There you go. That is Steam as well. So if you get the code, do let us know. I'll get next. <laughs> Probably not. Well, not silent, but. You got it again. Well, there you go. You've built up your southern collection, Brighton Mainline and East Coastway. Two of the greats. And when I play Rise of Nate, that's another one, NG. Take that off your bingo card. That's been one recent uh, mentioned quite a bit recently. Another Roblox uh, one. Yes, almost at the end of our journey. Four hours and 25 minutes now. Which is a bit longer than what I was thinking it would be. Um, yeah. There's Amanda. Yeah, we just did one code there. You can do the next one. Do the next one at Polgate, which is the next station. So that'll be the second code for East Coastway. Yeah. 
You're obsessed, Nathan. Obsessed with that game. How oh, did they not? Oh. That's all good, David. Off, mate. All good, mate. Amanda's, in Amanda's hands, so it's all good. But yeah, not too far to Polegate. Doesn't take long. Oh my god, is that escape McDonald's? So within the next 15 minutes, we will be at Eastbourne. Uh, uh, on the roadmap, they mentioned that some train symbol 2 routes uh, may get train symbol 3 updates. So I wouldn't imagine East Coastway, probably the core routes and the rush hour routes. So I wouldn't expect the East Coastway to fall into that. So coming up to Polegate, uh, we should have another key for East Coastway. No worries, fun fair. Which is only 39 of you in now, so. There's a fairly good chance of getting it. I was actually going to try, I was looking at trying to get a pick up a uh, train simulator from a train sim world key on uh, CD keys, but they're both out of stock. At least sort of the, the cheapest ones. We did, yeah. So that sort of confirms that one's going to be in the new skybox. Am I going to go to bed at 2am? Probably. I'll do a bit of FIFA after this. Probably not much time really now. Um, so probably three games on there. That'll be about 40 minutes. And then uh, do my usual call. And then uh, that's bed. So yeah, probably half one to ish I've got to be up tomorrow at about 8. Then busy day tomorrow and Tuesday. And Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. <laughs> yeah, it's weird, isn't it, Dan? I wonder why they did close it there. Must have stopped people cutting through, I suppose. I wonder if it would be a cut. I suppose it would be sort of a cut through. Anything you do in Dorking, or just go there for family? Eh? Yeah, time of day three or time of day four? It's twelve fifty-nine. See, so yeah, Adam, thanks for coming in, mate. Fair enough. There you go, that is the second East Coastway key, and that is for the Steam version. And I'm guessing fun fact, tr it transferred for train. Was it a train to mod 2 or train to mod 3 code? As Alex said, it was train to mod 2, then East Coastway, but that might just be in the copy and paste thing. You're going to be up at 3 a.m. for school. Alright, yeah. Uh, Hamden Park next. Hang on, we. Let's see how we were actually late. Three minutes, how long have we three minutes late? Oh, that's annoying, uh ah, that's annoying, Ricky. Hello Daniel, I'm alright, how are you mate? Thanks again for the Optair Solar, we were in it today. Alright, uh I dunno. I suppose this would be time of the day three. Yeah, I think it is, I think it did get the new train to more two skybox. And we'll do the next code, I suppose, at East One Bear. Who got the code? Who got the second code? I don't even say. Has anyone got the second code? Maybe you do get that code for East Coast. Where did put it in the chat? 
Van en eh, van en lei. Fair enough, uh, Dan. Awesome, Daniel. Well, if you don't have this route, code in the chat. See if that's still uh, working. And you used to be able to go straight ahead there. Obviously, that's been abandoned now, and that would take you to Hastings. Four and a half hours now. It's been since we left Hastings. Which, yeah, is about an hour longer than what I was thinking. <laughs> Plate iron assault is on Roblox, so uh, maybe. Uh, this, yeah, this is Brighton. Well, it's not the Brighton main line, but yeah, it's Brighton Eastbourne. But who got that second code? I mean, if you're watching on the rerun, uh, and no one says they've got it, well, just give it a go. It might, it might work. So. I shall do that. Almost done, Lewis. We're just about to come into Hamden Park. And I'll make myself a cup of tea. Uh, so I'll probably be on at quarter two, I suppose. Which is a bit later than what I was planning. Um, yeah, hey ho. <laughs> I'll probably be a couple of games now. Then I've got to go on to my next, uh, my next thing, my next appointment. Hey Neil, cheers mate. Much appreciated. We've got a red, so that's uh, a bit worrying. Why do we have a red here? And we're running a few minutes late, so maybe it's uh, buggered it up, maybe. Oh, there's a train in there. Maybe that one actually got ahead of us. I don't know if the game would have done that. Got that one ahead of us. It might have done, maybe. Sugar fix. Oh, I'll be having. I've got my Terry Chocolate Orange next to me. I'll be having that. I reckon this tram is actually supposed to be behind us. That's usually what happens. I think it's platform one at Red Hill. Yeah, platform one. Uh, no Nathan, nope. I don't play Roblox. Come on train, get moving. <laughs> it's John, I don't know. Is John there? I don't know if doors closing, so it should be going. And that junction we just passed, that actually would take you to Hastings, about 20 miles down the line. Why is that train not going? That starts to rhyme, and that's like, is it broken? That'd be an arm, wouldn't it? I don't know, is John there? John? No idea, Amanda. No idea. That's a bit worrying. Why is it sat there? It should probably be going by now. What time will we do there? 05 and it's 01. Yeah, that's a bit suspicious. You got the second, did you, Nathan? Or did you? Hey, let's go have a look. It's probably broken, isn't it? Let's go have a look. Why is it sat there? I can't imagine that being early. Doors are open. Oh, 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 the second one. It'll be the second. Oh, so, okay. Yeah, so we were supposed to be here first, but that one's come before us. I don't think the game would do that. I suppose it does. 
You did get it. Well, congratulations, Nathan, if you did. Awesome stuff. Yeah, I would imagine, yeah, we were supposed to go first there, but because we were a couple of minutes late, that one decided to get ahead of us. Cheers, Brian. How bloody you get moving, you. Oh, is it going? I can see it sort of flickering a little bit. Sometimes it means it's sort of moving. It might be going. Yeah, four hours and 36 minutes now since we left uh, Hastings, which is just absolutely mental. <laughs> That's Brighton, yeah. Oh my god, get moving. Lazy bugger, come on. No, I think it. I think it's going now, I think. It looks like it might be. No, that is going. That's moved, doesn't it? Yeah, there, there we go. Well, I mean, that's just gone. We should be able to go, shouldn't we? It's gone red. Quite for the back of the train to pass it, I guess. Shouldn't really take that off yet. Force closed then. Yeah, that train's going to Brighton. It has to go into Eastbourne first. <laughs> oh yeah, we did. I'll be on FIFA after this. A bit late. Later than planned, but I'll be on it. Let's go. Yeah, I thought so, Nathan. Genius Pete. So whoever did get it, feel free to uh, pop it in the uh, in the chat. That's all good, uh, Ricky. Well, <laughs> it won't so not it won't be the usual stream times, but uh, yes. Oh, see, so yeah, Dan. Am I too tired? Well, I'm quite tired. The FIFA awaits, and after that, I've got something else to do as well. So, not done just yet for today. Right, and I think Amanda, it is time for the, the last code. Well, I feel like everyone's got East Coastway already. <laughs> yeah, a little bit busy. I suppose quite a few people probably would be going to Eastbourne. Bloody get everyone else, get it going. Taking forever to get on. Yeah, see a long train stream, yeah. And about what's it been? Uh, I don't know how long we've been on train sim world for. Probably a couple of hours. No. I don't know how long we've we been on train. I can't remember. Or was it about 10, wasn't it, we got on train sim world? No, I think it was about. That's yeah, probably been about an hour. No, I don't know. Oh, it's late. Uh, let's put that forward. It's been a while since we got on. Got on there. there it goes. The last stream for East Coast. The last stream for East Coast. The last key for East Coastway. So if you've got a PC, you've got Train Sim World, feel free to give the key a go. That'll give you this route, East Coastway. Yeah, 4 hours and 40 minutes. Get some sleep, probably in about an hour and a half. As long as get seven hours, they say yeah, seven hours, seven to nine hours sleep is what they recommend, isn't it? So as long as I go to bed at about twenty past one, I'll be all good. <laughs> I was actually going to watch a bit of TV tonight as well, but that can, that can wait until tomorrow. See you, quick, thanks for coming in. It's been good fun. Still, the longest stretch of today's journey has been that first bit from Hastings up to Tombridge. That bit felt like it took about two hours. I mean, it took about an hour and 20 minutes, only 40 minutes off. But yeah, that was the last key which got popped into the chat. So, massive thanks to Dovetail Games uh, for giving us 10 keys to give away. 
uh, in today's stream. Uh, specifically, obviously, Dovetail Games Alex, what a legend. There you go, 10 keys to uh, give away. Um, and hopefully, everyone has enjoyed it. Obviously, I suppose a couple of the keys haven't been claimed. So, if you are watching on the rerun uh, and you do get the key, put it in the comments, say you got the key. Yeah, this is on PS5, we're showing it. I don't play Train to Mode on PC, and I probably won't now, because early access sort of works on consoles now. So, um, but I won't play it on, on the PC. <laughs> yeah, me too, Never. Hello Nathan's, oh I guess that's Phase Nathan, so it says mods, what is it Davidoff, did you get the uh, what is tomorrow's video, I don't know, um, I haven't actually recorded a video today, I'll probably just do two tomorrow instead, sort of make, make up for not doing one today, so we've been doing this, fair enough Daniel. Oh, see, no, that's fine then. Seven's fine for me. Uh, so, uh, I forgot what I was going to say now. Oh, we're coming into this uh, platform. No, no, I uh, don't know. Uh, no, we're going to the right. Oh, disguised. Yeah, very disguised. What am I, when am I doing freight trains? I don't know. And this is Eastbourne. That is our final destination. We've travelled... A grand total of 20 miles along the coast, and it's taken us 4 hours and 43 minutes. Why? Because, well, there is no Hastings to Eastbourne on Train Sim World or Train Simulator, so we had to go via London. We had to have one stupid person in. Really? For the whole bloody stream. And Nathan, you bloody muck it up. We could have had a clean sheet. You had me in the first half. And you did that. As I don't know, Davidoff, that might actually be tomorrow as well. I'll try and do whatever's sort of. Well. Uh, I think what will be. There we go, the end of the journey. Wow. Uh, so yeah, 20 miles in 4 hours and 44 minutes. That's quite a long journey. Obviously, yeah, going via London. So Hastings up to London and back down to Brighton and then along the coast back to back to here. He used an alternate account, Dan, when he was timed out. Which obviously, the sort of defeats the purpose of a... And in fact, he was actually hidden before as well, and then that other account was another account. And but yeah, uh, that is. Um, oh, hang on, did I? I swear I unlocked the door. I'm pretty certain I unlocked the doors here. Did I not unlock the doors? I'm pretty certain I unlocked the doors. There we go. If we didn't, then now they're open. Oh, actually, no, I think I did open them, then I locked them. Because it always, I think it wants you to lock it on here. Knacker in, Zaid. <laughs> Depends on the London. We could have done that in this time, probably. Uh, but yeah, uh, that is going to be everyone uh, for today's uh, 10k special live stream and train sim while train simulator live stream. Hopefully, everyone has enjoyed it. Maybe one day will be a t maybe one day it will only take us 20 minutes, so we can go from Hastings to Eastbourne on train sim or train sim world. Maybe one day, maybe East Coast where we we'll get released for train simulator. I imagine that'll be fantastic. Um, yeah, that'll be cool. Um, but yeah, uh, that was that. Obviously, massive thanks to everyone for 10k. Amazing stuff. Uh, onwards and upwards, I suppose. Um, that's really all I've got to say. Obviously, big thanks to Dovetail Games for the keys. Uh, much appreciated. I suppose we could go through what we have shown off today. Um, so the first thing was the Class 411, uh, which you'll find on Armstrong Powerhouse. Um, 
Oh wow, that AI did show us. And we did backdated train sim on the 1066 line. Uh, we did the Southeastern Network, which you'll find on the Steam Workshop in the Armstrong Powerhouse Class 375. Uh, and then we did the South London Network in the Armstrong Powerhouse. You can see Armstrong Powerhouse in the Class 456. Uh, then we've done the Brighton Main Line, London Commuter DLC from Victoria to Brighton in the 387, which has Armstrong Powerhouse sounds. Uh, and then we did East Coastway on Train Sim World from Brighton to Eastbourne in the 377, which I think actually did have AP sounds, but I don't think it actually does. But I don't know, maybe it has some, I don't know. Um, but yeah, uh, cheers Connie, uh, thanks all for coming in, I'll be back tomorrow probably for one or two streams, possibly only one tomorrow, uh, as I'll be going out, um, probably saying, uh, that, yeah, uh, thanks for coming in, links can be found in the usual places, Discord, PayPal, Merch Store, uh, which we do have 10% off at the moment using the promo code 10KS. Uh, it's pretty much already at the lowest price it can be on Teespring, so don't look at it and be like, bloody hell, that's a lot. It's the lowest it pretty much can be. Um, and yeah, I hopefully will see you. Oh, and we do have the new 10k mug as well, so feel free to check that out. Uh, but yeah, I hopefully will see you in the next one. See you all, and take care. Bye, guys.